The state of Washington, with its majestic mountains and its famous volcano, is truly one of America's beautiful areas, where the quality of life has always been number one. Now, Sports Illustrated has chosen Washington number one because of a different quality. Husky football, and why not with the return of senior quarterback Hugh Millen? The University of Washington football team is poised to lay claim to the mythical national championship. Millen, who is 8-0 as the starting signal caller, also engineered the victory of Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Another standout, 240-pound Rich Feeney, a bruising runner who is the prototype fullback. But defense is the name of the game out here in the Northwest. Last year's squad, led by linebacker Joe Kelly, topped the nation in takeaways with an amazing total of 51. But the Cowboys haven't come to this roundup empty-handed. Quarterback Ronnie Williams is young, but possesses a rifle arm and exceptional speed. Last year's number five ranking was due largely to the exciting running of Thurman Thomas, who was selected the Gator Bowl MVP. On defense for the Cowboys is number 99, Leslie O'Neill, one of the most dominant linemen in the country. A first-team All-American selection, O'Neill has 29 career sacks and will keep the pressure on Washington all night long. Tonight, one of the best matchups of the college season. Turner Network Television presents Super Football Saturday Night. Tonight, a great intersectional matchup between the Big 8 Gator Bowl champs, the Oklahoma State Cowboys, and the Orange Bowl victors from the Pac-10, the University of Washington Huskies. Brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. Reach for that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning here at the University of Washington against Oklahoma State. Paul, last week we saw a great deal of offense. What about today? Well, I think we're going to see a lot better defense today. Of course, Washington is always at the top of the heap defensively. They led the Pac-10 last year in defense. In fact, they had a phenomenal, Lindsay, 51 turnovers to lead the nation in that category. On the other hand, Oklahoma State ranked fourth uh, in the NCAA stats. They only gave up 12 points a game. So I don't think we're going to see 81 points like we did last week with Washington State and Oklahoma. Washington has a great inside linebacker named Joe Kelly. Boy, Kelly's a good one. He, he had five interceptions last year. We take a look at it. He's not too big, 6'2", 217. But he had a big interception against Oklahoma in that victory in the Orange Bowl. Well, on the other side of the line, of course, uh, Oklahoma State has some pretty good defensive performers themselves. Boy, Oklahoma State's got one, Leslie O'Neill, that any coach in the country would drool to have. He is a true All-American. He was All-American last year. He's going to repeat this year, folks. He's 6'3", 250 pounds, a number one draft choice, and whoever blocks him is going to have an uh, all-day job. I'll tell you, it's going to be Dennis Soldat on the left side. He's going to be asked to keep him away from the quarterback. It's almost impossible. We asked Coach Don James about him. Leslie O'Neill is one of the premier tackles in college football, and, uh, and he's a force, and, and he's a force that we've got to reckon with. You know, we're going to have to double team him some. We're going to have to know where he is. I, I'm not sure just what all they'll do with him. They'll play him over the guard or the tackle. But uh, then we'll try to get some help. If uh, if, if we've got a, a, a lineman that maybe is free on pass protection, you know, one of the key coaching points is stay busy and try to help where needed. And, of course, Leslie O'Neill is a guy that we're going to have to help. I just about set the scene. And now to get a little more football information, let's go to Craig Sager and Alec Hawkins in the studio. Thank you, Lindsay. I look forward to this matchup. It should be a great one. It, sh it really should be. Oklahoma State's a better team than most people realize. Washington, well, they were 11-1. They beat uh, in the Orange Bowl last year. They beat the Oklahoma Sooners and won that Orange Bowl game. It's going to be uh, two evenly matched teams. A few moments ago, the completion of a thrilling game. This one in Lincoln, Nebraska. Florida State, who you saw a week ago here on Super Football Saturday. Bobby Bowden's crew after a victory against Tulane playing on the road. Quarterback Danny McManus. Throws to Darren Holloman, a touchdown pass, and Florida State defeats Nebraska in Lincoln, 17 to 13. Earlier today, you saw one of the greatest performances in college football. Bo Jackson, and anybody who didn't see that missed something. Bo Jackson ran for four touchdowns, gained 290 yards on 23 carries, and did just about anything he was asked to do. And right now, Alex, who's the best team in the country? Right now, last week it was Florida State, and they didn't discredit themselves this week, but I like Auburn and Bo Jackson. But the number one team is BYU. They're trailing UCLA right now, 3 to nothing. We'll keep you updated on that game and all the games, or the number one team could be Oklahoma State or Washington. Those two teams coming up next. This is Turner Network Television.
The sailboats are out on Lake Washington, and here come the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Pat Jones, their head coach, in his second year, he took over from Jimmy Johnson to move down to Miami, and it is an absolutely gorgeous football late afternoon here in Seattle, Washington. And this crowd is ready, Paul. They sure do. They have a unique thing here, Lindsay. They, instead of tailgating, what a beautiful setting, as you said. We're right here on Lake Washington. They tie up all the boats, and they tie them uh, side by about 100 yards, and they call it boat gating here in Seattle, and they just wait for the kickoff, and then they just climb over every boat. It takes them about a half an hour to get to the game. When the Huskies come in in just a moment, now you will hear a roar from this crowd as they walk on, and here come the Huskies. They are coached by Don James. In his 11th year as the head coach here. What a year he had last year, Lindsay. They went end up second in the polls, the mythical championship. They were second almost every poll behind Brigham Young at the end of the year. Packed house here. So they're all ready and we're all ready and we'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Out on Lake Washington now, they're ready for the football game. We're ready for the football game, and out there, of course, they're relaxing. I tell you, I think they might just take their time getting to the ball game. You see how they just tie up side by side. They have a few pops, and then they just wait for the opening kickoff, and Don James doesn't care too much about that right now. As a matter of fact, Oklahoma State has won the toss. get a look good look at a fine sophomore running back right away for Oklahoma State Thurman Thomas who was their most valuable player in the Gator Bowl last year 841 yards as a freshman last year he was sensational for Oklahoma State it is Jim Springer who is the referee here and the umpires Dave McCullough the linesman is Charles Stewart the side judge is Don Spistabach and the line judge is Fred Gallagher and the field judge it's Harvey Jones and Dan Enbeen is uh, finishing out the crew of officials assigned here by the Pac-10. It'll be Jeff Jager doing the kicking off. Oklahoma State deploying now to receive Jager's kickoff. He does the placements and dropping straight back there now is Bobby Riley. He is center deep for the kickoff return. Artificial turf on the field here at Husky Stadium. They're going to kick off from the hash mark left. Temperature somewhere in the 60s. Beautiful sunshiny day here in Seattle. Comes Jager. Riley is waiting five yards deep in the end zone, eight yards deep in the end zone. Touchback. He will not run it out. First down and ten yards to go now for the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. They have the ball at their own 20-yard line. There is the offense. Ronnie Williams and Thurman Thomas. Will Timmons are running back. Bobby Riley, Terry Wimmer. And there, the tight end is Dillard, along with the interior lineman there, the offensive line. First down and 10 yards to go at the 20-yard line. Ronnie Williams brings them up. Thomas is the tailback. Demons is the up back. Thomas has got the football. Back through for four yards to the 24. Thurman Thomas carrying it. It'll be second down and six yards to go at the 24-yard line. Bo Yates from Lebanon, Oregon, came in to make the tackle. Here is the defensive alignment now. There are the three. Brian Habib is the middle guard. They think a great deal of him. And there are the linebackers, four of them. Joe Kelly, of whom we spoke about, ago, is number 36. And there are the deep backs. Second down and six yards to go. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State with the football. 3-4 defense for Washington. Three down linemen and four linebackers. They react. Thomas again. He's got the first and 10. First and 10 for Oklahoma State. Thurman Thomas from Missouri City, Texas, carried the football. You're going to see a lot of him, folks. He's one of the great ones. He was highly recruited. 
Missouri City, right outside of Houston. He was probably the most recruited back in, coming out of Texas. Oklahoma State got him, and they love it. Look at those stats last year as a freshman. Darrell Hall made the last tackle. First down and 10 yards to go. Ronnie Williams, the quarterback. Thomas again. Good defense. Got only one yard as he went to the 32. It's going to be second down now, nine yards to go. Joe Kelly came in to make the tackle from Los Angeles Jefferson High School. He's lettered every year here. Joe Kelly will play on the inside, inside linebacker position. 6'2". We talked a little about him at the top. Lindsay's not too big, but boy, does he react. He's all over the field. Five interceptions last year, one for a score. Wimmer and Riley are the wide receivers. Timmons is the up back. Thomas the deep back. Option is kept. Bubble. Got loose. And at the 37-yard line, this is what that Washington Husky defense Washington does so Hall. well. Darrell Hall made the hit. Darrell Hall made the hit. The Husky defense comes up with the football last year. Here comes the counter option. Watch Williams. He comes down. He cuts inside of Joe Kelly here. Kelly gets an arm on him. He gets hit by Darrell Hall, and the ball is loose. Looks like o Oklahoma State got it back, but they didn't. It's Washington football. Last year, Lindsay, they led the country in takeaways. 51 turnovers. Oh, that's a phenomenal stat. They're inside the 37-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go, and Hugh Millen is the quarterback. Rick Finney and David Toy are the setbacks in the eye formation. This is Toy. Finney leading the way for him. Boy, they cleared it out on the left side. David Toy from Mountain Hole out of Hole, Lindsay. And he's got good size and good speed. We take a look at the backfield and receivers of Washington. Hugh Millen undefeated as a starting quarterback here at Washington. And Rick Finney. We'll take a good look at him, Lindsay. 6'3", 245-pound fullback. He will uh, play deep in the eye also. Second down and one yard to go at the 27-yard line. Give it to the up back. Taken there by Finney, and he was hit and hit hard right up the line of scrimmage. Rick Shaw and Leslie O'Neill were there. Oh, they run right at Leslie O'Neill there as we take a look at their defensive line. Thompson, a very good defensive end. John Washington, Hawkins, Leslie O'Neill. And then the linebackers on the inside, James Ham and Ricky Adams. Defensive secondary, they all move. Good quickness in that secondary. They're going to measure for the possible first down. And there it is. First and 10 for the Huskies. Ball is at the 26-yard line. No score. We're in the first quarter. Matt Jones, the head coach, along the sideline there with a headset in his second year as head coach of Oklahoma State. That's him yelling instructions in. Benny in the left set, Toy in the right set, backs evened up. Millen with the ball. Touchdown. Right into the end zone for the touchdown. And that is Lonzel Hill's first touchdown. Look at him, and he's happy in the end zone. That's his first touchdown here at Washington. He had 12 catches last year, his first one. of the 1985 season, Lindsay, and he was wide open in the end zone in the corner. Take another look. We get a ground shot. And what protection Mr. Hugh Millen has. He ran a corner route. And Lonzel Moe Hill is all alone in the end zone for six points. Jeff Jager will attempt the conversion. Chris Chandler is holding for him. It's up, and it's good. And Washington goes out in front by a score of seven to nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Let's take a shot of Mr. Millen here. Look at the pass protection he has. He's sitting back there, good pass protection. Hangs right in the pocket. Demise Williams is over on the side, number five. He just couldn't quite get it. And Bull Hill comes up with his first collegiate touchdown catch. So now it's going to be Jager kicking off once again. 
Riley has moved back center deep. And again, there'll be no run back across the end line. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Baker's got a little wind at his back, so he's expected to keep it deep in the end zone or out. Ronnie Williams, the quarterback, is a sophomore from Wichita Falls, Texas, 6'4", 210-pounder. Thurman Thomas, the tailback from Missouri City, Texas. There is the scoring drive, a 26-yard pass. Hill, of course, is the son of J.D. Hill, former college and pro star. That's Thomas. Oh, look at that defense. Woo. That's hey. five yards, second and five. I'll tell you, that's a tough five yards. You see that swarming defense for the Huskies. Thurman Thomas, tough, five foot 11, 186 pounds. We take, we're gonna take a look at Ronnie Williams' stats. He didn't play too much last year. They had a great quarterback here at Oklahoma State, Rusty Hilger, but he's gonna be the player now. Ronnie Williams, a fine athlete from Wichita Falls, Texas. Ronnie Williams brings him up. Emerson Thomas in the I formation. Thomas. Got about three as he's pushed back hard by David Rill, so along far. with Brian Habib. So far, Lindsay, it seems that Oklahoma State has a tendency to run to their right side. Uh, a lot of teams are right-handed. Here's the matchup on the right side. No wonder they're running over there. Paul Blair, the offensive right tackle, six foot five, 275 pounds, an All-American candidate, is one of the best offensive tackles in college football, and that's why they have been staying to their right side. Steve Alford, of course, got his hands full over there. Penalty against Oklahoma State, and it's being marked off now. Puts the ball back on the 17-yard line. Pulling 10, 10 yards, yards against the offense. The Still second down. Second down, 12 yards to go. Well, I talked to Pat Jones this morning. He's very high on this young quarterback. Of course, you don't want to put this kind of pressure on your quarterback. Second 20 early in the first quarter. About Make that about 13 yards. Passing situation. Short drop. Riley's got it at the 25 and up the sideline to the 30, and he goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Tim Peoples from San Jose made the tackle. Uh, sh showed a lot of poise under pressure that time for a young sophomore, Lindsey. They said he's got the good, strong arm wide. He's trying to go to the right side. He looks the whole defense over. He comes back. He hits Bobby Raleigh down the left sidelines, and Raleigh gets the first down. 17-yard pickup. Showed me a little composure there, uh, Lindsey, for a young quarterback. A lot of poise in the pocket. First and 10, again it's Thomas, off the tail of the tandem. And the penalty marker goes down, he got up to the 39 yard line. So there's a market be checked out here. Erlinson made the tackle, holding against Oklahoma State. Oh, these penalties, the coaches pull their hair out because of this. Second five, and now it's first Holding and 20. against the offense, 10 yards, still first down. Puts the ball back to the 25, makes it first down and 20 yards to go. Washington leading the ball game by a score of seven and I think we were in the first quarter. Ronnie Williams, the quarterback. Kind of spread out a little bit. And it's completed up to the 30. Taken up there by Hart Dykes of Bay City, Texas. Well, they said he's got a gun for an arm. And you sure saw a good example of that, Lindsay. He does have a strong arm. This is a little hitch pattern on the left side. Now watch the heat come. He stands right in there. You'll see a blitz over there. He stood right in there and completed it. To Hartley Dykes, one of the great freshmen this year in college football from Bay City, Texas. Second down and 15 to go. Thomas again off the tail of the tandem with running room. Moved it up there just short of the 45-yard line, about the 44. Ron Miles made the stop from Tacoma. Oh, there's that hard running Thurman Thomas again. There it is, the little draw. Watch Thomas, good blocking up front. Boy, he picks his hole well, and he just go, he's a north-south runner, Lindsey. I tell you, he gets that extra yard. He's a little bit short. First down, third and short. Third down and a yard to go. Thomas is the tailback. 
He's got the ball in first down. He coughed it up a little bit, but he got it back. I tell you, that's a big first down, Lindsey. First and 20, and they come right back with the first down. Joe Kelly made the big hit there. They've overcome two holding penalties in this drive so far. Out of the eye again. This almost broke, but there was Joe Kelly, as Lindsey said. Now he drops the football, and he falls right on it. First and 10 now at the 47-yard line for the Cowboys. Ronnie Williams waiting for the snap. Timmons with the football, and Timmons gets up to the 50. Will Timmons from Little Rock, Arkansas, picked up only three yards on the play, second and seven. Don James along the sideline with the headset on there. Joe Kelly made the last tackle. Second down, seven yards to go. The strength of this offensive line for Oklahoma State, surely in their tackles. Blair, 6'4", 275. Chuck Shankman, 6'6", 275. Good size. Beck and Weimer are the wide receivers. Thomas has got the ball, and he's popped immediately at the 46-yard line. It was Albert, Steve Albert, in to make the tackle. Loss of four yards. Take a look at Steve Alford. Defensive left end. Now you see it. I don't know if it was Blair or Meacham over on the right side, but somebody missed his assignment completely. Didn't block Steve Alford at all. He wasn't even touched. Third down, and 11 yards to go. William throwing, and it's complete across the 40 and on down to the 35-yard line. Taken there by Bobby Riley. Boy, Lindsey, what poise this young Ronnie Williams is showing. That they had a zone, a double zone, each side on the flankers. You see, they got a short and long on Bobby Raleigh. Now watch what Ronnie Williams does. He waits for Bobby Raleigh to clear. He clears the linebacker. Ronnie Williams stays right in there. Picked up 21, 21 yards in the first down. Pitch to Thomas. That's back to the 30. There's a penalty marker. He's gone, but there's a marker. There's a marker to be checked out now. It's way back up field. 35-yard uh, run by Thurman Thomas, and they may call it back. Let's pick it out. Somebody was off size, and probably, I think it's Washington. Pat Jones is saying touchdown. The penalty is against Washington. And it's declined. It's a touchdown. Well, Thurman Thomas goes in almost unscathed on the right side, Lindsay. That's a 35-yard run for Mr. Thomas, his first touchdown of the year. He had seven TDs last year. Look at his pitch around the right side. Beautiful cutback here, and that was it. That's the last time somebody touched it. So he was just bruised at the line of scrimmage, and he broke the tackle. Penley against Washington declined. Touchdown, and now it's going to be Joey O'Donnell attempting the conversion, which, if good, will tie the score. It's good. And the score is tied. It is the Cowboys 7 and Washington 7. We'll be back in just a moment. BYU with the ball with a first down in UCLA territory, but Robbie Bosco has it picked off by Craig Rutledge. He goes down the sidelines. Robbie Bosco tries to catch him, tries to push him out of bounds, but he does not. A touchdown for UCLA. It's 10-3. Back to Paul and Lindsay. This is the fourth year of the junior. Lindsay, I think Oklahoma State caught Washington napping here. Look at them. They're milling around, and they get a little quick count here, and they're not set. Steve Alford is not set defensive end, and watch Thurman Thomas. He cuts back to the inside. Kelly was taken right out of the play on a good block, and he goes 35 yards. He's got 69 yards rushing now and nine carries already. So so the stats on Thurman Thomas. Nine rushes for 73 yards on a touchdown, and now the Cowboys will be kicking it off. It'll be Joey O'Donnell, a freshman from Perry, Oklahoma, to do the kicking. David Trimble has dropped back deep. You know, he reminds me of Lindsey. Thurman Thomas reminds me of a little Walter Payton. It looks like he loves to run on the inside. Uh, this kid likes contact, and he's got enough speed to break it. O'Donnell waiting now for the whistle, and there it is. 
Take it at the six yard line. Return to the 10 to the 15, and it is Trimble carrying. Trimble with the football got up across the 25 to the 26 yard line. First and 10. Stopped by Deckard, Jerry Deckard. How about that for a star of the past, Lindsay from Oklahoma State. What a great running back. Ernest Anderson from 79 to 83. All American in 1982. 270 yards rushing against Kansas in one of those games. He was a great one. Hugh Mellon, the quarterback for the Washington Huskies. Toy with the football. Spun around as he got to the 30 yard line. It was Mark Moore on the tackle. Again, a four on the play. Oh, what a great play by free safety Mark Moore. Lindsay. He had some daylight out front. That play looked like it was going to go for at least a first down and just Mark Moore, a defensive, a great defensive play. He closed the hole and made a great tackle. There is the scoring drive of the Cowboys, topped by the 35-yard run by Thomas. Axis split in this set. And the big fella's got it this time, Finney. Is he a load? You know, he's listed at 6'3", 235, Lindsay, but Don James said, Paul, I think he's a little bit bigger than that. He goes a little bit over 240 now. And this kid is going to, you're going to see him in the tailback before it's over with. And, oh, what a load for a tailback. He runs the 40 in about 4'5", so he's got good speed, Lindsay. Third down and a yard to go. Last tackle made by James Ham. Finney and Toy are the setbacks. Toy's got the first and ten. And it is at the 38-yard line. It was Ricky Adams from Junction City, Kansas, on the tackle. David Toy, as we take a great look at the mascot, the old Husky. Isn't he a beauty? Six and a half minutes remaining to be played in the first quarter here pretty good way to get a first down Lindsay you stay behind that big fullback talking about it 240 pounds and I think David Toy is going to make third and one then he's on the left set <laughs> Millen with the ball it's complete across the 40 and up to the 43 yard line taken there by Finney that's the 43 well they shot both their offensive backs there's a and I think this could be very serious for Washington. We're going to take another look. Finney is hurt. Good pass protection again. Finney comes out of the backfield. And it just hooks up on the inside of that defender. He gained about five yards, but he's still down. Mike Hudson was the number 10 you saw there on that hit. They can ill afford to lose, you lose this young man. So Finney is getting attention from the training staff, and we'll be back here in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. <laughs> That is Finney getting up now, being assisted to his feet. Rick Finney listed at 6'3", 235 pounder. There it is again, and Millen completes the pass out there to Finney, and you see the hit right here. He kind of slides his foot there, Lindsay. Did you notice that? Kind of slipped on the artificial turf. Could have pulled and sprained an ankle or a knee. They've taken... Uh, a chair out to assist him in rolling off the field now. And he'll be replaced by Ricky Meyer, who's on the field. Ricky Meyer from Walnut Creek, California. Paul, what did you think of that final score this afternoon? Washington State 20, California 19. Well, we understand Joe Capp's California team was leading 19 to nothing in the third or fourth quarter. And Washington right, right. State and comes right. back. It wins by one point. Well, we saw Washington State last week put a lot of points on the board, but not enough against Oregon. 39 points, and they didn't win. All right. Washington ready to go now. Second down and five yards to go at their own 42. Ricky Meyer is in there, number 35 at fullback. The back is still David Toy. Hugh Millen is the quarterback. Toy with the ball, put the football, and just got across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Leslie O'Neill from Little Rock, Arkansas made the tackle. Lou Rawls who sang the national anthem here so beautifully. And we get a good shot of Lou. 
motivated this over over full crowd, Lindsay, of over 58,000. Lou Rawls, ladies and gentlemen. Lou is in the midst of a professional engagement here in town, so he came out to the football game. It is third down and two yards to go now for Washington. Hugh Millen waiting for the snap, and he's got it. Again to Toy coming to the right side, 50. Was popped as he got to the 47, but it's going to be Mark back there at the 49, I think. Mark Moore was the man who made the hit. He from Nacogdoches, Texas. Oh, that's the second great tackle from Mark Moore, but there was a good running off the right side, good blocking at the point of attack. David Toy gets the first down. And as this game wears on, Lindsay, we're going to get try to get keep an update on Rick Finney because Don James so high on this young man. He thinks he's going to be one of the best backs in the country. And if he gets hurt early, it could really hurt Washington. First and 10 at the 49-yard line of the Cowboys now. The Huskies in possession of the football. Hugh Millen waiting for the snap. Gives it to Toy. Toy to the right side. Cuts back and dives. Got down to the 47-yard line. He picked up two on the play to be second down and eight yards to go. Warren Thompson from Dale City, Virginia, made the tackle. Good pursuit by that Oklahoma State defense. Now, we talk a lot about Leslie O'Neill, and we will continue to do so all day long, but that's not to slight anybody else on this Cowboy defense. John Washington, who plays the defensive left side over there, is a fine defensive end, as is the gentleman Lindsey just talked about, Warren Thompson. Second down and eight yards to go. Motion across. Humillan with the football. And uh, he was hit just as he tried to turn it loose, and a dive was made up there. Warren Thompson is the man who hit him. Well, that time Hugh Millen, he had a man open, Lindsay, but Warren Thompson, six foot three. Look at the double teaming O'Neill on the other side. There's two purple jerseys over there trying to contain Leslie O'Neill. But what that does when you put two men on one defender, it opens somebody else up. And Warren Thompson got free of a single block and got to the quarterback. Third and eight inside the 48-yard line. Motion across, tight end. Millen with the ball. And it's complete down inside the 25. And on down to the 20-yard line, David Trumbull. David Trumbull, the receiver. First and 10 at the 21. That 28-yard pickup, Lindsey. David Trumbull was wide open. But Hugh Millen just hung in that pocket and showed the good arm. Trimble, that's his first ca catch as a Husky. A little play action, not too good a fake in there to the inside man. And look how Millen stood right in there. Good pitch and a good catch. 28-yard pickup. Window Yancey on the stop for Oklahoma State. With the score tied 7-7 now. The Washington Huskies are driving first and 10 at the Oklahoma State 21-yard line. Trying to get it back to the inside. Taken there by Meyer. Ricky Meyer took it to the weak side. Number 35. Well, they had a little counter motion. They ran a counter play. Now for an update, let's go to the studio. Last time we left you, BYU was trailing, but it doesn't take the Cougars long to score. Robbie Bosco to Mark Molini, a 10-yard touchdown strike. A great catch. It's tied 10-all second quarter. Back to Paul and Lindsay. Pat Jones, head coach at Oklahoma State. And it's going to be second and 14 now for Washington. Two minutes, 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Score tied at seven. Pulling on the delay this time, handing it up. Taking it by Ricky Meyer. Ricky Meyer. Got to the 23-yard line. Stopped by John Washington. I found a little seam on the inside there, Lindsay. Got it back to the, almost the original line of scrimmage. Third down, 12 yards to go with the ball now at the 23. 84 stats of Mr. Millen. Undefeated as a starting quarterback here at, War at Washington. 8-0. No. Millen with the ball. And it is completed. Down there at the 16-yard line, taken by Rod Jones of Richmond, That's California. He's the big tight end. He came across from the strong side. Picked, seven. picked up seven yards. That's a short of the first down. They did it out of the eyes. We take an end zone shot here from the far end zone. Zoom in on this. Good protection again for Millen. Good catch. 
I don't know for the first down. Fourth and five and thing. Uh, Jeff Jager is in there now to attempt a field goal. It'll be a 33-yard attempt for Jager. There's stats on him. Jager's boot and it's good. Jager puts three points on the board for the Washington Huskies who go out in front by a score of 10 to 7. And we'll be back in just a moment. To be out on Lake Washington this afternoon and a beautiful day to be inside the stadium nearby because the hometown Washington Huskies have just gone out in front by a score of 10 to 7. And Jager will kick it off. He's going to receive it now. Bobby Riley. Center deep. He's flanked back there by Harry Robertson, Mitch Nash. Well, we haven't seen a punch yet, have we? Not yet. Washington's had the football twice, put 10 points on the board. Oklahoma State has had it once, and it had to overcome two holding penalties. Score. Again, Riley is a spectator, and it's across the end line. It'll be put in play first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So the Cowboys trail by three points as they get it this time. Yeah, they fumble on their first possession. That really gave Washington that first touchdown. But we haven't seen any punts. Quick moving first quarter. Ronnie Williams, the quarterback. Thurman Thomas, the tailback. Will Timmons, the up back. The Cowboys from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Thomas has got the ball. Jitterbugs and jukes his way up to the 25-yard line for five. It's second out and five yards to go. At the 25, Tom Erlinson made the tackle along with Darrell Hall. There he is. Thurman Thomas, last year, the Gator Bowl most valuable player. 32 carries. It looks like he's going to get that today. 155 yards against South Carolina. He was the most valuable player. And more than that, he was a freshman. He's now a sophomore. Thomas again with the football. But this time, the Husky defense pulls him down at the 24. And it's Reggie Rogers, six foot seven from Sacramento. He's a basketball player here in Washington. Let's take another look. Four fumble recovers he was last year. Look at that reaction from the backside. Reggie Rogers missed block on it. Was it the running back's fault at all there? Surely it has wanted a chant of Reggie, Reggie. Clock is running with 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Washington leading Oklahoma State 10 to seven. and throws an incomplete. Well, credit that incompletion to number three, Bo Yates. Bo Yates, sophomore from Billingham, Washington. There he is, number three. He calls that in incompletion. Rush the passer. That brings up a fourth down, and you see the time remaining there now. 37 seconds on the clock remaining in the first quarter. Punning unit rushing onto the field now, and it's led out there by Kerry Cooper from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, who does the punting. Dropping back is Ron Milas, fine return man for Washington. Thank you, pardon. It is Rich Thompson. Rich Thompson instead of Cooper back there to do the punting. And Rich Thompson puts it up high. Milas is waiting. He's got it at the 35. Milas across the 40 and up to the 42-yard line. So Washington starts first and 10 at their 42. 40 yard punt return, seven yards. Well, Miles is an excellent punt return man. In fact, Don James is very happy with the play of his special teams. He's got a good field goal kicker, He's got a good punter. His punt return men are all veteran. And Ron Miles averages 12.4 yards every time he returns a punt. That's a very good average. Twenty-five seconds on the clock remaining in the first quarter. Dylan going long. Incomplete. Way downfield intended for Mo Hill, but incomplete. Second and ten. Well, he's got the wind in his back. He thought he'd throw the home run. A little flat pattern down the left side to Lonzel Mo Hill. 
Milling into the huddle now. Milling, of course, started the early games last year for Washington, and then Paul Sicaro replaced him. However, in the bowl game, it was Millen again who finished up in that ball game, so he came back as the start of this year. Trimble and Franklin are the wide receivers now for Hugh Millen. Pitches it to his tailback, Toy. Gets across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Picked up four yards on the play. And John Washington from Houston, Texas, made the tackle with Ricky Adams. And you see the time kick ticking off. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and there it is. Time has run out. That is the end of the first quarter with the score. The Huskies of Washington, 10. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State, 7. We'll be back here in just a moment to start the second quarter. This is Turner Network Television. Portions of tonight's game are brought to you by Buick and your Buick dealer. For comfort, innovation, and a real commitment to quality, it's today's Buicks. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Hornick. Here at the University of Washington, as we start the second quarter, Washington's leading Oklahoma State by a score of 10 to 7. I've got an update on Rick Finney. He's got an injured ankle. They don't know if he's, it's a sprain or a broken ankle. We'll try to get the facts in a minute. Third and six at the 46 for the Washington Huskies in their own territory. Hugh Millen, the quarterback. Millen back to throw on third down. He hit just as he turned it loose. That'll bring up a fourth down. That was Warren Thompson from Dale City, Virginia, in there to make the hit. Well, they're using two men to keep Leslie O'Neill off the quarterback. He's got so many sacks. And we'll take a look at the first half stats. First downs, five each. Yards rushing in the Cowboys, a big edge, 85 to 33. Even on possession, and we've got a good one right here. Thane Cleland's in there to do the punting now. From Lake Oswego, Oregon. Dropping back is Thurman Thomas. Short punt. Gets on the 30 going to be down at the oh. about the 27 yard line really it was Brett we see who was down there to take it on the hop he should have let the football go it was bounding towards the end line and uh, he got a little excited and touched the football it's going to get a 32 yard punt out of it and take another look Mr. Weesey here it comes now he's he's the first one down Lindsay and he says man I'm not this quick but look at me I'm the first one down and he downs it Number 77, he thought he was red gray. <laughs> That's right. First and 10 now for the Cowboys. Williams is the quarterback. Simmons and Thomas in the I formation. Thomas got just to the 25-yard line. And that's it. Lost two on the play. Now both these teams use the same defense. They use the 3-4. Uh, oh, no, they... no, made the tackle. Lindsay, the 3-4, uh, the alignments are just about the same. And we say 3-4, we mean three down linemen and four linebackers. But what they do in college football to the strong side where the tight end lines up, that linebacker becomes another defensive end, actually. So it's really a 4-3. Thomas and Timmons with the split backs now. Williams back to throw. Did he catch it in bounds? He did. He did. He caught it at the 39-yard line. What a catch. The official coming down the line and Bobby Riley reached and got it. Ron Miles with the defender. The 36-yard pickup. There's a beautiful pitch here, too. Williams leads him to the outside. And the cornerback over there turned to the inside. Look at this good, strong arm. And Bobby Riley does the rest. Now you got the cornerback. He's turned the wrong way. You only have to have one foot in in college football. And Bobby Riley from Stroud, Oklahoma, comes up with an exceptional catch. Ronnie Williams brings him up. Thomas and Timmons in the I formation. That is Thomas. Struggles to the 35-yard line. Picked up four yards on the play. Bo Yates from Lebanon, Oregon, made the tackle. Well, he does remind me of Walter Payton, same number 34. Maybe that's why he picked that number, Lindsey. Uh, I would think that Walter Payton, a lot of kids in college football would like to run like him. And I tell you one thing, this kid does remind me of Walter Payton running the football. He looks like he loves contact. Second down and six yards to go for the Cowboys. Thomas has got the ball. Look at that. Pass to the 28-yard line. Could be enough for the first down, I think. Seven-yard seven pickup. Seven yards for Thurman Thomas. First Next and ten to the 28. Tom Wilson with the first hit. Eighty 
29 yards rushing already here in the first half. Dykes and Riley are the wide receivers. Williams throwing. On the post, it is incomplete at the 15-yard line to, Hart to Hartley Dykes. Darrell Hall made the hit, second and 10 at the 28th. A little bit too hard if we take a look at Pat Jones over on the sidelines. Ronnie Williams got a little bit too much heat on the ball. There's his career record last year, first year as head coach, 10 and 2. When Jimmy Johnson left and went to the uh, University of Miami, Pat Jones stepped up to the head job. Thomas, look at that. Struggles down there to the 21 yard line before Erlinson again came in to make the tackle. Got about seven. Well, it's good to watch a running back like this. You could tell he loves it. He gets up there and he slides. He slides his body. He's got great balance. Got the good legs, folks. But you see a running back like that. He dodged a little man at the line of scrimmage. Kept his control. 90, 95 yards. Riley's in a wide left. Third down and three yards to go. Williams back to throw out to Thomas. Incomplete. And completed pass. Fourth down and three yards to go at the 21. Yates and Erlinson putting the pressure on there. Timing on that play way off. Execution very poor that time. On a little quick screen right, so we're going to have an attempt. A big one to 37 yards. It'll be Joey O'Donnell. Joey O'Donnell now will attempt. This will be a 38-yard kick. And it is good to tie the score. The field goal is good, and the score is tied. The Cowboys 10, Washington 10. We'll be back in just a moment. Ten tie with 12.23 remaining to be played in the first half. And kicking it off now for the Cowboys is going to be Joey O'Donnell. Joey O'Donnell will get. Back to receive it, number 23, David Trimble. Along with Daryl Franklin, number seven. Trimble and Franklin are the deep men. Yard deep in the end zone, goal line five. And it's, Tr it's Trimble carrying. And he got out just to about the 14 yard line, and that's all. First and ten. Great coverage that time. We take a beautiful look at some interesting things here in Seattle. Milton Cocker on the stop. First and ten for the Huskies on their own 14. Hugh Millen still quarterbacking the Huskies. There is the scoring so far in 1984. It was, as a matter of fact. Led the Pac-10 in scoring, actually. Slide back in motion all the way across. Give it to the F back and it's taken there by Meyer. Meyer carrying out to the 19-yard line. Got about five on the play. Second down and five Rick yards to go. Rick Finney is still out. We still don't know whether he has a serious ankle injury or it's just a sprain. Trying to find out. But Ricky Meyer is filling in right now. Last tackle made by Leslie O'Neill. Taking about a tailback toy. There he is again. But only to the line of scrimmage. And again, it was Leslie O'Neill. Yeah, the last two times they've Leslie seen the All-American Leslie O'Neill make the tackle. And we've got him right here on the replay. There he is, number 99. Watch him play off the block of Dennis Soldat. He moves to the outside, plays off another block. And look at that quickness. He is really some kind of quick. 6'3", 250 pounds. We have an official now. Uh, it's just a mild sprain, Lindsay to Rick Finney, the big fullback. We do not know whether he'll be back or not. Washington three for four on third down conversion. Third and five here. Hugh Millen with the ball. Completed out just across the 25 a little bit. David Toy with the receiver. He got it to Ricky Meyer, Lindsay. I mean, uh, David Toy, and it's enough for the first down. What looked like a uh, little broken play offensively so turns into a first down. Millen slides down there, but he's hooked up.
coming out of the backfield. He's got the first down. First and ten for the Huskies just across, first the, and 10, just across the 25 yard line. Take it back to the inside for about two yards on the play. It is Toy carrying again. It'll be second down and eight there. In a two. Warren Thompson on the stop. Second down, eight We're in the second go. quarter and we're in a 10-10 tie Our here at the University of Washington. Temple and Franklin are wide receivers. Millen with the football rolling and getting away for the moment and looking, he's gonna keep it. Millen hits the deck up there at the 30 yard line. Picked up about three on the play. John Washington of Houston made the tackle along with James Ham. Warren Thompson almost got Millen back in the backfield for a sack. We're gonna take a look, ground level shot. He rolls out to the left, watch number 91. Thompson forces him out of the pocket, grabbed his jersey, and Millen pays for that three yard gain. Third down and five yards to go. Look how open Franklin was down the left sidelines, Lindsay. Millen missed it. Now, when you're getting out of the way of 250 pound linemen, sometimes you miss receivers. Millen. Beautiful. Didn't miss that one. Same receiver, Franklin. They got him back, didn't they? To the 45 yard line of the Cowboys, first thing 10. That's Darrell Franklin. He plays behind. Montel Bo Hill, and he came right back with a 25-yard pickup. Just take a head-on shot from the defensive standpoint. Look at this beautiful pitch by Hugh Millett. Franklin was open last time. He comes right back to him. Oh, good picture here. Coming right into your miss. Maybe our cameraman down there knew something we didn't know, right? First and 10 for Washington at the Oklahoma State 45-yard line. Millett pops this one out. Right across the middle, trying to get the tight end Rob Jones. Now let's pause five seconds for station identification. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning on the campus of the University of Washington in Seattle, where the Cowboys of Oklahoma State and the Huskies of the University of Washington are in a 10 10 tie. Nine minutes, seven seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Second down, 10 yards to go for Washington. They have the ball at the Cowboy, 45. Motion all the way across. Troy has the ball. Troy can't turn the corner. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and 10 yards to go at the 45. Harry Roberts was the man who closed him off over there. Don James doing a little pacing along the sideline there. Beating Northwestern, or rather at the halftime, they're leading Northwestern. Here's a halftime score, Florida leading the University of Miami. Hugh Mellon. Incomplete. Hit him in the chest, it was Franklin and popped right out, Franklin number seven. Uh, Franklin knew there were some people behind him, he came back for the football, like all good receivers should, and he just couldn't hold on. It was too easy a pitch, Lindsay, and sometimes the easiest catches are sometimes the hardest because you're so sure of making the catch, you take your eye off the football. Now watch this. This is right on the money. I mean, that is the easiest a catch as you'll ever want, and Franklin probably won't miss one out of 50 of those. Lane Cleland's in to do the punting now, and Thurman Thomas is back deep to receive it for Oklahoma State. Thomas follows it over and lets it hit, and it's going to go... And be killed at the one-yard line. It's going to be killed at the one-yard line. Yep. They were hoping it would bound in. Oklahoma State was, but it didn't. And it was killed on the one-yard line, a 44-yard punt. And so we'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Look again now. It was Cleveland's punt. Payne Cleland, who is a great punter. And Don James said he was happy with his special teams. Watch this. 
kicks it back. The ball's bounding around, and Correa downed it. Correa downed it inside the one-yard line, Lynch. So now the Cowboys of Oklahoma State start from their one first and ten. The hometown crowd is alive. Woo. They're up in arms. Thomas Simmons in the eye. Quarterback sneak. Quarterback just kept it. Williams wedging about for a couple of yards up to maybe the four-yard line. Valuable yards, too. It gives them a little bit of room to operate, Lindsey. And Williams, big, strong kid, 6'4", 215-pound quarterback. Pat Jones there, the head coach at Oklahoma State, arms folded. Second down, seven yards to go with the ball out at the four-yard line now. Now it gives them a little room to give it to Thomas. Simmons and Thomas. Williams has got the ball. He's in the end zone. He gets out for the six-yard line, maybe the seven. Lindsey, Bobby Ra Raleigh fell down. On, he was doing a, a little square out. He was doing a square out pattern over on the right side. And Williams had an easy completion here as we take a look at Joe Kelly. He comes out and downfield, Bobby Raleigh slips down. So Williams has to keep the football. He got over the five to probably the seven. Third and four at the seven. Ask Kelly. What about Cooper? Williams has got it. Just got out to about the nine. There's Reggie Rogers. Doing a little cheerleading and the Husky defense. They love their defense up here in the Northwest. You can see why, Lindsey. Watch his pursuit. There's Kelly also. He comes in, plays off the guard. Williams cuts back to the inside. And he's pulled down from behind by Reggie Rogers. Now, Rich Thompson's going to have to try to punt it out of there. Miles is back near midfield. The dangerous man on that punt return. Thompson gets it out. Miles across the field at the 49 yard line of the Cowboys. 45. Good move. 35 30. Miles to the 25. Miles to the 20. At the 10 yard line, he is pulled down now at the 11. Miles on the return from the 49 to the 11. First and 10 for Washington. Well, Moore made the tackle. Last year, he returned 17 punts. This time, it's a 38-yard punt return for Ron Mollis. It's a 40-yard kick. Watch this move, Lindsey, right here. And he stops. He gives him a little juke, and he gets outside. A beautiful move by Ron Mollis. Now, a beautiful cut back against the green, and it looks like he's going to go in. And I think he runs out a little gas here. 38-yard punt return, and the Huskies are in business at the 11-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Just at the line of scrimmage, Toy carrying on the play. Who did he get popped? Second and ten at the 11-yard line. It was Leslie O'Neill along with Warren Thompson. We're in a 10-10 tie. Second quarter of the football game. The Washington Huskies lost a yard on the last play. The ball is back at the 12-yard line. Second and 11. Out of bounds at the eight-yard line is Rod Jones, the tight end. Picked up about four on the play. Good selection offensively because Leslie O'Neill was right in on the quarterback middle in that time. He had to release very quickly, and Rod Jones was open coming across. He caught 11 last year. No touchdown. Third and seven at the eight-yard line. Big third down play coming here now. Hugh Millen is the quarterback. Boy and Meyer are the setbacks. Time out, time out. He had a double tight end, and Hugh Miller didn't like the defense, Lynch. So he is going to the sideline now. The score is tied 10-10 in the second quarter. We'll be back in just a moment.
The, the rainbow is out over Lake Washington. We have a 10-10 tie with five minutes, eight seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Washington with the ball now third down and seven yards to go at the Oklahoma State eight-yard line. Hugh Millen, the quarterback. Motion across. Millen. And touchdown. Touchdown by Hill. But Mo Hill with his second touchdown of the day, the second of his career. Lindsey, that was very close to being out of bounds. They had, they had Mo Hill lined up as a tight end left on the left side. It was a double tight end, and he was the tight end on the left side. Now, he's right to the left of the quarterback here. Off play action, he do, goes down and does a corner pattern. You only have to have one foot in. Let's catch it. His right foot was in. His right foot was in. And I, that's our judgment. Lonzel Mohill for a second touchdown. Jager will attempt the conversion. Jeff Jager. And it's good. And so as they come back up the field now, Washington has gone ahead of Oklahoma State 17 to 10. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. We'll get another good replay, Lindsay. I think our cameras are, did a real good job of catching this as Mo Hill's right foot was in bounds here. And this is the toughest judgment call for any of them referees out there. Watch it down deep. Makes the catch, sees right foot, it's there, it's in, he has the football. Great camera work. That's what he said. <laughs> so now it'll be Washington kicking off, it's gonna be Jager doing the kicking. Bobby Riley is back there, center deep. Penalty marker because it went uh, across the sideline marker. So that'll cost him five. And uh, perhaps a cramp there for Jager. Well, I tell you, it's, it's so, you have so much more confidence when you're kicking with a win. You know, he was putting them out of the end zone by five or six yards. You turn it around in the second quarter, and he's got to kick it against the win. The confidence just goes out of you. It's so much tougher mentally to that's face Pat that win. That's Pat Jones, the Oklahoma State coach, facing there. Five-yard penalty, of course. Here was the scoring drive. And the eight-yard reception by Hill. The big play was a 38-yard punt return by Miles. And was that ever a beautiful run? And also that punt that went dead inside the one-yard line, that was very key in there, and Washington held and then got that beautiful punt return. Jager will kick it off again. I think she's for the Huskies. <laughs> again. Did it again. Yeah, Across the sideline. Those sideliners have a natural hook on the ball when they kick the ball, Lindsay. You notice he's teeing it up over towards the left hash mark. So if he hits it, he's trying to hit it a little bit too hard. And what happens here, he tries to kick it too deep and he hooks it. It goes out of bounds and that's another five yard penalty. Well, here he is, boys, the king. They call him the king up here, folks. And he was one of the great running backs, not only in college, but in the pro ranks. There's one of the great Sonny Six Killer. He's the all time career passing leader here at Washington, 5,400 yards. Well, that Michael Haney was something to watch. Jen Jager tees it up this time on the 30 yard line. Riley has moved up to about the 15 now. You see, they put the ball back in the middle of the field, too, Lindsay. Moved it over. Line drive. And it's fielded at the 20 yard line. Return to the 25. Taken by Roberts upfield. And Roberts gets to the 40, and he stopped there. So it'll be first down and 10 yards to go. Good field position. 4.57 on the clock. That's time remaining in the first half. Washington leading by a score of 17 to 10. There is the clock. You got plenty of time, Lindsay. They're only trailed by one touchdown. You got a back named Thurman Thomas in the backfield can break it at any time. He's close to 100 yards rushing himself, as you see the yards rushing up there, much in the favor of Oklahoma State. Williams, the quarterback, coming to the up back. Thomas, the deep back. Williams got a little hung up, but he gets sprung. Bounced that one. It is incomplete. He didn't get set. Intended for Dillard. That's a little experience incompletion right there, Lindsay. All he had to do was hold his composure a little bit longer. Got his feet tangled up there, held his balance, and we're going to take another look. 
and his man was wide open in the middle, Lindsay. Now watch what happens. A little play action. He trips over his center. Got to get away from the center a little bit more quickly on that face. Second and 10 now. Thomas with the football. Look at this. Look at him go. Right out there across the 50-yard line. I think it's enough for the first. Thomas carrying the football and stopped by Hall. You know, they had some two pretty good runners I can think of at Oklahoma State. Terry Miller, and he only got 334 yards in his first year. Then Ernest Anderson, of course, he got 438. Thurman Thomas last year got over 800. So this kid stays healthy. There's no telling how many yards this kid's going to gain before he leaves Oklahoma State. They'll measure for the possible first down here now. And it's a first and 10 at the 50-yard line. He's over 100 yards rushing now, Lindsay. Unofficially, we've got him for 17 carries and 108 yards rushing. First and 10 for the Cowboys on the 50. That's Williams bringing him out. Timmons and Thomas in the eye. Williams. Williams ran squarely into the grass of a large fella named Reggie Rogers. Uh, Williams lost. He lost his sight of Reggie Rogers. Rogers was behind him. It's going to be a 15-yard sack. And in his scrambling, he runs right back into Reggie Rogers. Watch it. Off of play action. Now watch a good movement. There goes Reggie Rogers. He runs by the quarterback. Falls down. He gets up. And Williams tries to get out. And Reggie Rogers does a very good uh, Great play defensively to get back up off the ground to make the sack. Second and 25 at the 35 yard line. Thomas. Got about five up to the 40 yard line. So it'll be third down now and 20. And now you see the time remaining in the first half, 324 for Reggie Rogers and on the tackle again. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State in possession and trailing by seven points in the game. Seventeen to ten. Washington out in front. Williams still quarterbacking. Williams with the ball. Played all the way down to the 30-yard line, where the diving attempt was made by Hartley Dykes. He was open, Lindsay, real deep. Little post runs it over to the post, and it kind of hooks up. Pat Ronnie Jones. Williams was just a little bit charred on that. Pat Jones showing a little encouragement to his quarterback. He was open. He'll have a receiver open. He'll come back to that in the second half, I'm sure. Don James along the sideline. Rich Thompson is in to do the punting now, and the deep man back there is Malice. Malice is waiting to get the punt from Thompson. Short kick. At the 22, and that's all. No return. Ron Malice takes the punt. And so Washington will start line. deep in their own territory. This telecast is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the Pac-10 Conference and is intended solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, rebroadcast, or retransmission of the game, in whole or in part, without the express written consent of the Pac-10 Conference and Turner Broadcasting, is prohibited. Big enthusiastic crowd here at Husky Stadium this afternoon. 2.42 remaining to be played in the first half of the ball game. Don James, the head coach of the Huskies, along the sideline there. First and 10, they have the ball spotted at their own 20. Hugh Millen's the quarterback. Gives it to his tailback, David Toy. Toy, number 34, got up there for three to the 23-yard line. Mike Hudson made the tackle, and the clock is running. Second down and seven yards to go for the Washington Huskies. In the second period, SMU 7. And that is Pat Jones, the head coach at Oklahoma State. Both of these teams, of course, won bowl games. Oklahoma State, victors in the Gator Bowl. And uh, Washington, victors over Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Second down play coming here. Give it to the F back that time. That's Meyer. 
Meyer got it out to the 25 yard line for two. It'll be third down and five yards to go. John Washington from Houston made the tackle. Clock is running now. Less than two minutes remaining to be played in the first half. I don't know how much pressure it's going to put on Washington in the second half, Lindsay, but they miss Rick Finney, the big fullback. They miss his, uh, he plays the up back in that eye. He also plays the tailback. He went out early in the first quarter. I just don't know how much they're going to hurt, but it looks like they miss him running. Myers the up back, Toys the tailback in this alignment. Hugh Millen is the quarterback. There's motion to cross. Millen with the football rolling and looking and throwing, and it's taken at the 40 yard line. It was caught at the 40 yard line by Daryl Franklin, number seven, first and ten. They're not going to miss him that much. 16 yard pickup if they. If Millen continues to impress like this, there's a rollout left, throwing the football right on the money, on the run. Look at this beautiful fist of Franklin. There's a little cornerback out there. A little corner move. He makes a catch for the first down. So that's the first and ten at the 40-yard line. Millen with the football. Back to throw. After that is complete. Up there at the 45-yard line, taken by David Toy, the tailback. Again, a five yards will make it second and five at the 45. James Ham made the tackle. Coming up at halftime, and then and now, and then we'll have the Husky Marching Band, a studio report. We hope you'll stay with us during the halftime intermission. Millen throwing again. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. He was sort of decked as he turned it loose. It's less than a minute remaining in the half. It was Leslie O'Neill who was back there to keep him company. <laughs> I tell you, he kept him company too, Lindsay. Quarterback ended up right on his back. Leslie O'Neill right in his face. Third and five at the 45 as Don James gets in a little facing. 57 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Washington is leading Oklahoma State 17 to 10. Third down conversions are there. Hugh Millen's waiting for the snap. Slot right. Running backs evened up. Millen with the football. Deflected incomplete. Deflected over by the hash mark, it was Ricky Adams who got a hand on it from Junction City, Kansas. See what happens if they miss the running, they end the blocking of Rick Finney. And I don't know if there's going to be too much pressure on Hugh Millen. All quarterbacks love to throw the football. You can see this up back over there, wide open in the flat. There's two or three men open. Just a poor pass that time by Millen. He had everybody open, actually. Thing. Cleveland has got back to do the punting now. Cleveland, Dane Cleveland is back there, and Thurman Thomas is uh, back to receive the punt. Cleveland gets it off. Thomas kind of let it hit. Bounding around the 20, across the 20. Done it, done it again. It's uh, inside the 15, the 13 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 to 13, a 42 yard punt with no return. Artistically, uh, not too good a punt. It doesn't look like he's kicking the ball well, but what happens is he's getting an outstanding bounce on this artificial turf. And Cleland, his last two punts have really rolled uh, exceptionally well for him. So with 39 seconds on the clock now in the first half, the Cowboys get the football. Williams is still the quarterback. And there's a whistle down there for some purpose. Now it's Mark ready for play. Williams with the ball, handing it off to his tailback. Little running room up the sideline, and it's Thurman Thomas who goes out of bounds. Getting up a little slowly over there. He's a tough kid. Picks up 13 yards around the left side. He's over 120 yards rushing now. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. 34 seconds on the clock. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State from Stillwater, Oklahoma, trailing by seven points. Beck is on a wide right. Now there is a whistle. Which means there was an infraction before the snap. Pat Jones, a little unhappy with that. Don James, head coach at Washington. Him up. Cost him five. Dead ball, illegal procedure on the offense. Still first down. Boy, he's got a great record out here in the Pac-10, Lindsay. Last 10 years, Don James's team have been either, what, first or second in the Pac-10. Coming up at halftime, those features, and we hope you'll stay with us. 
32 seconds on the clock, first and 15 at the 22-yard line. Thomas again. Goes out of bounds up there about the 27. That was Brill who ran him out. Got the five back. It's an unusual two-minute drill. We're watching just off tackle, and Thomas picks up 10, gets out of bounds, picks up six, gets out of bounds. 27 seconds on the clock now. Second down, 10 yards to go at the 27. Riley's in a wide right. Williams, the quarterback. Thomas with the football. With the daylight. I think he got the first down. He's up there in advance of the 37-yard line, and Hall made the tackle. And they'll stop the clock on the first down until they move the change. Now well, it should take a timeout. Yes, they do. And then try to throw the bomb once. We take another look. Look at this cut, boy. I tell you, he's got a great smell for running the football. Stayed right behind these blockers to the last minute. Cut back against the grain. 200-yard game last year. And I think you're going to see some 200-yard games out of him. And he's got a pretty good chance right here today against a very tough Washington defense. He got the first down, so we have 21 seconds on the clock, which will start at the snap. It'll be first down and 10 yards to go at the 37. Now, next week, Baylor versus Georgia on Super Football Saturday, 12 noon Eastern and 11 a.m. Central Time. And then our game, the primetime game on Super Football Saturday, Pittsburgh and Ohio State in Columbus at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. So we hope you'll join us for Super Football Saturday next week on Turner Broadcasting. You look at the beautiful scene here of this stadium hard by Lake Washington. And the lights are on here, of course. This is not a place where they play night football normally. <laughs> Crowd started arriving here along about mid-afternoon, enjoying themselves to the fullest. Now we're set to go. Clock starts on the snap. Williams, the quarterback, with the football. He's open. Well, it was deflected and intercepted. If the ruling is that he caught it, maybe he didn't. Maybe he trapped it. I'll tell you, Bobby Riley has been running free down in the secondary. Now, Ronnie Williams just doesn't throw it deep enough. Well, he's under a little pressure. You see Bobby Riley down there, number one? He was wide open. It was just a pass thrown short. He was trying to go to his big tight end, J.R. Dillard. But Bobby Riley's been running free all day long. Ruling was it was trapped, no catch, so it's second and 10 to the 37 yard line. On the draw, taken by Thomas. Slipped on the cut, actually, as he got about the 44 yard line. It was Yates making the tackle. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and there's a whistle with one second going on the clock. That's it. That is it. Timeout taken by Oklahoma State. A timeout taken by Oklahoma State with one second on the clock. Don James there. Crank her up and let her go. And I'm sure that Washington's well aware of this. They'll be back knowing that they're going to throw the home run. We have On the sports page tomorrow night, We'll be announcing the Super Football Saturday Most Valuable Player. Last week, it was Chris Miller of Oregon. Check your local listing. It's going to be third down in players' zone. The first half, I can tell you who it is right now. <laughs> Mr. Thomas has got 145 yards and 21 carries. All right, the wide receivers are Riley and Dykes, and the tight end is Brown. They're all three over there. On the left side for Williams to put it up. Wind it up and let her fly. There it goes. It's a touchback because the momentum carried him into the end zone. It was intercepted by Miles. He went into the end zone, touchback, and time ran out. That's the end of the half. He bombed that pass 70 yards in the air for an interception. So that's the end of the first half, and the score is Washington 17, Oklahoma State 10. We'll be back with Halftime Entertainment in just a moment. It's halftime at the University of Washington in Seattle with Washington leading Oklahoma State by a score of 17 to 10. 
The state of Washington is fortunate enough to have the services of two outstanding college coaches, Jim Walden, whom we saw last week at Washington State, and Don James right here at Washington. But if you listen closely, you'll hear the footsteps of another. But this piece by Paul Ryden may be the one and only time you ever hear a frosty westering. The drill is called, accurately enough, Pyramid Builders, and at Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma, Frosty Westring has been building a winning tradition the fun way, and he's done it in the shadow of Washington's other successful coach up the road, Don James. But a little anonymity never bothered Frosty. He's too busy winning football games. Since 1974, his Lutes have finished in the top 10 six times, and they won a national title. And if he never goes higher than NAIA Division II, that's okay, to Frosty, you make the big time where you are. That's Frosty Westring in a nutshell. A winner who's content where he is. And if some sophisticated city slicker from Seattle thinks that's corny, well, meeting Frosty face to face won't change his mind. Hey, Ted. Hey, Ted. Go, Ted. Go, Ted. Go, Ted. Out of way. Out of way. Out of way. Out of way. It's the old Attaway cheer, part of Frosty's motivational enthusiasm for the job and for his players. He is, at the same time, a PhD in education and a cornball from Iowa. The man's a walking cliche. His office is adorned with Frostyisms. But his players, these kids of the 80s, no rubes themselves, they love him. He, he really fits in well, you know, he's just like a kid at heart, and that's what, why he's such a great coach, because we can relate with him so much, and, you know, he is a kid at heart. <laughs> At PLU, winning is fun, football's a kick, life's a ball, because Frosty's got this philosophy, the double win. Hey, up here, you can't lose. It's the idea that you've got a best shot in you, and you don't really know it until you're willing to give your best shot in everything you do without worrying about being the best. And that allows you to go out and do whatever you got to do without fear of the outcome, because the fear of failure stops you from doing your best and giving it your best shot. If you didn't think Frosty Westring was different enough, get a load of where he scheduled his first road trip this past summer. With the Mediterranean Sea as a backdrop, the pre-preseason got underway in Europe. Nice play, guys. Keep on the ball. Be ready. Be ready. PLU's opposition this night on the French Riviera, the Paris Blue Angels, one of the continent's finest teams. American football in Europe isn't much more advanced than high school football in the States, so players there are eager to learn. And Frosty is, of course, eager to teach them. He can block you out, but you can't let him block you in like this, right. see, because you got the outside gap. So now, you got this gap. We're trying to help the French team here, the Blue Angels, develop that ability to go out and put on a show for people that they can see high-level performance, add some class to their performance. International relations and goodwill aside, Frosty's primary concern is for the team that plays for him in Tacoma. What he's doing at PLU might not work anywhere else, including the, quote, big time. Now, let's find out what happened. I don't think he was... In professional football, which I've had several opportunities, and major college football, I, I have felt that it is so much X and O, so much recruiting, so much time is spent with players as uh, football players and not as people. I have enjoyed so much working with young men on a very personal level. From Tacoma to France, the world's a big place. And with coaches fighting to get to the top of it, it's nice to know there's still plenty of room for Frosty. In Tacoma, Washington, Paul Ryden, TBS Sports. It's the University of Washington Husky Marching Band, director of bands, William E. Bissell. And let us tell you just a little bit about this. Since school is not in session, volunteers were asked from the alumni ranks to fill out the band for field performance. This tradition has continued for seven years, and so they're on the field, and we'll be back with them in just a moment, right after this. With varsity and alumni members, the University of Washington Husky Marching, marching Band.
the Husky Marching Band, something for the whole family. Following our local station break, Craig Sager and Alec Hawkins will be bringing you up to date with college football scores and highlights from around the country. This is Turner Network Television. Hello again, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning, and it's halftime here at the University of Washington. Washington leading Oklahoma State by a score of 17 to 10. And, Paul, we've had a lot of action. We sure have, and we have uh, 27 points on the board, a touchdown difference. And I look for Oklahoma State really not to try to do anything different. Ronnie Williams has missed uh, his last five or six passes. His receivers were open, and they've got one of the great running backs in the country. Thurman Thomas has sure proved that. On the other side of the coin, we've got uh, a pretty good quarterback in Mr. Millen. He, he knows how to control the offense and that great defense. I think we're going to have another fine half of football. Well, I think you're exactly right. I think we are, too. And we had, of course, some big plays in the first half. So let's take a look now at hi highlights of the action in the first half. And, boy, it got started right away after a turnover. Hugh Millen didn't waste any time. He goes upstairs. A beautiful 26-yard pitch to Lonzel Mohill. That's his first touchdown in a Husky uniform. Take another look. Oklahoma State comes right back. A 35-yard burst off the right side. Thurman Thomas ties it up 7-7. Seven to seven. Uh, The team's... Traded field goals after this. Of course, this is one of the most unfortunate plays for the Huskies. Rick Penny goes down with an injury there. We haven't seen anything since then of Mr. Penny. We think he's going to be out. This was really the difference of the ball game, Lindsay, in the first half. Watch this punt by Shane Cleland. It goes dead at the one-yard line. I really think that's the difference because the Husky defense held. Then on the next punt, watch Ron Miles with a great move over on the right sideline, right there. A little juke down the right sidelines. He cuts back, and he gets it back to the 11-yard line, and the Huskies were in business. This was the difference on a third down. They needed seven. Millen, a little square out pattern. His second catch of the day, both of them for touchdowns. That's Mo Hill, his right foot inbounds. And that's how it stands at halftime, 17 to 10. And it's been a big day for Mo Hill, the son of J.D. Hill, the former college and pro star. Came in never having scored a touchdown. He's had two in the first half. Two for two. It's perfect. And I think uh, Rick Penny being out, it's going to really hurt the Husky offense because Millen's going to have to go upstairs. But I think he's the kind of quarterback who likes to throw it. I think you're right. The score is 17 to 10. It's halftime. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Washington is kicking off to Oklahoma State, and Jeff Jager has teed the ball at the hash mark on the left side. Bobby Riley is center deep. Jager's kick. Daly. Across the inline. Touchback first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Oklahoma State trails by seven points. It's 17 to 10. Washington leading. Here are the first half stats. That yards rushing, look at that, the Cowboys, 146. 145 yards of those is Thurman Thomas on 21 carries. He's headed for a record-setting day, and really the difference is the passing. Uh, Millen is 10 out of 17, 130 yards, and really the difference in this ball game, as we talked about, was that punt down at the one and that run, punt return by Ron Miles. Ronnie up. Williams is the quarterback. Thurman Thomas, the tailback. Will Cummins is the up back in the eye formation. Wide receivers left and right. Thomas gets the football. Jukes out to the left side and gets almost five yards on the play. It'll be second and about five near the 25-yard line. It was Ron Hadley on the tackle along with Ron Milas. Ed Jones now having donned the jacket. It's getting a little crisp since the sun has gone down here in Seattle. Paul Horning's getting a little acclimated to the weather. He spent the week here, as a matter of fact, yeah, not next to here, in this territory. I tell you, I loved it, too. It's beautiful out here. Golf courses were nice. Thomas again. This time he takes a lot. This time it was Ron Hadley from Boise, Idaho, in there to make the stop. Uh, he didn't even have a chance to get back to the line of scrimmage that time. Got up a little slowly. We'll take another end zone shot of this. Out of the eye, he gets hit here. You see... Blocking broke down. Reggie Rogers came from the offside to make the stop up high. And I think that's where you're going to have to tackle Mr. Thomas Lindsay. You got to hit him up high. Third and about seven at the 23 yard line. Big third down play here for the Cowboys. Williams. Got it up just short of the 30 yard line. Not enough for the first. 
Kenneth Brown made the catch he from Midland, Texas. It'll be fourth and one. Well, he went to his big tight end over the middle. They needed six. He only got five. Rich Thompson comes out of the field now to do the kicking. Ron Miles is dropping back. Poor pattern that time by the tight end. He should have gone a little bit deeper, Lindsay. Rich Thompson back in front formation. Thompson Ron waits for the snap. Miles moves up. Fair catch, and he makes it at the 37-yard line. It'll be first and 10. It is the Husky 17, the Cowboys 10. We'll be back in just a moment. The Huskies have the ball first and 10, just short of the 38-yard line. Tight end motion across. Millen is the quarterback. Millen with the football. Goes out. And it is intercepted on the deflection at the 40-yard line. Taken by Mike Hudson. Mike Hudson has the football number 10. So the Cowboys get it in uh, Washington territory. Well, what a great interception that time by Mike Hudson. He makes the interception after the deflection. Watch this. After play action, not too good a fake. Millen stands in the pocket. Now he's going to be forced out, Lindsay. Now he makes a good pitch here. Watch this. It goes in and out of the hands of David Toy and very alertly. A great interception by number 10, Mike Hudson. Can the Cowboys move it? They trail by seven points. We're in the third quarter. Williams is the quarterback. Gives it to Thomas. Thomas loses a yard to the 41-yard line, and it was David Rill. Second down, 11 yards to go. Well, maybe they weren't king on Mr. Thomas in the first half, but they're sure putting all their linebackers, and they head him right towards number 34, Thurman Thomas. 148 yards in the first half, and I'm sure that uh, Don James and his defensive coordinator were talking a little something defensively how to stop this young man. Thomas and Simmons in the I formation for Williams. Williams with the ball, rolling and looking and throwing. Incomplete. Intended for Lynn Beck, number 21, from Blanchard, Oklahoma. It's third and 11 at the 41. Here's the offense now. It is Ronnie Williams, Thurman Thomas, and Will Timmons in the eye, and then Bobby Riley and Lynn Beck are the wide receivers, and the tight end is Dillard, and those are the interior offensive linemen there. Make some noise, Doc, man. Williams has had a tough time in his last seven or eight passes, Lindsey. This fine sophomore has got the good, strong arm. He can complete a couple passes. He's going to get confidence throwing the football. He's a better athlete than this. Third and 11. Out into the flat. Thomas moves it up to the 36-yard line. Jeremy Thomas, the receiver. David Rill made the tackle. Again, a five on the play, but it's going to be fourth and six. Yeah. I think Thurman Thomas was banged up. Uh, he's up. He's walking off, but he's not walking too gingerly over there. Looks like he could be banged up a little bit. Rich Thompson is in to do the punting. Miles is back deep. Thompson gets it off. Miles lets it go. It's going to be down on the one-yard line. Oklahoma State downs it on the one-yard line. So that is where Washington will start. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner, Network Television. It was Ken Montgomery who downed the ball on the one-yard line. So the Huskies start there. Millen is their quarterback. Motion all the way across. Giving it off to the tailback toy. Got a couple of yards. Lindsay, remember in the first half, the Washington Husky defense was faced with this exact situation. They held and forced the punt out of the end zone. They got a big return, and that is the difference of this football game. Uh, Washington took it on in. Now the Oklahoma State defense has got the same opportunity. Let's see if they can hold them and force a punt. Second and seven at the four-yard line. Touchdown! It's covered in the end zone for a touchdown. They get better than stop them. 
They caused the fumble by David Toy and they recovered it in the end zone for six points. And it's number 10, I think, Mike, Mike Hudson. Hudson. Mike Hudson got the football for the touchdown. Let's take a look. Here's the pitch around the left side. David Toy is stripped of the football. 54, Ricky Adams makes a great tackle. And Mike Hudson gets the touchdown. Look at that number 10 dig for the ball, and he got it. Conversion attempt, which if good, will tie the score. And it's good by O'Donnell. Joey O'Donnell's kick is good. And the score is tied. Husky 17, Cowboys 17. We'll be back in just a moment. Watch this beautiful tackle by Ricky Adams, number 54. There's the pitch to Toy. Ricky Adams really unparks a great tackle. The ball's loose in the end zone, and Mike Hudson comes up with it for the Cowboys, and we've got a tie football game. What a tackle by Ricky Adams. As Adams along the sideline, Joey O'Donnell is out there now to kick it for Oklahoma State. Tim Peebles is back with David Trimble to receive it. Trimble and Peebles. Joey O'Donnell. Taking it to three yard line, return to the five. It's Trimble. Gets all the way up to the 20 and across to the 21 yard line. The tackle is made by Roberts, and so they start first and 10 at the 21 yard line. Score is tied here, 17 17 in the third quarter, and the Huskies have the football. Come very evident for Don James's boys that they miss Rick Finney. Lindsay, they, they miss his blocking in the running game. They also miss his running. They miss that big six foot four, 240 pound frame back there. Hugh Millen, the quarterback for Washington. Toy gets it out there to the 27 yard line before Ricky Adams made the tackle. Gain of six. It's going to be second down and four yards to go. Don James with his arms folded along the sideline. One of the most highly respected coaches in the profession. His team selected to finish very, very high this year by at least one national publication picked to be the number one college team in the nation. Myron Toy in the I formation. Motion all the way across by Trumbull. Meyer. Got it up to the 29-yard line. Not enough for the first. Ricky Shaw made the tackle. Lindsay, speaking of ties, we got one here at 17 apiece. How about this one? SMU 14, UTEP, University of Texas at El Paso. They also have 14. Is that a final? That, no, sir. That's, they're still going In on. Progress. All right. Third down and three yards to go. Miller completes it for a first down. Up just short of the 40-yard line, taken by Rod Jones. First and ten. Oh, what a great pitch to Rod Jones. I tell you, Millen, he ended up flat on his back, Lindsay. If we can uh, roll it here, I sure think you're going to see a great pitch. All the play action. Watch Millen hit his tight end and watch what happens to him. Oh, we didn't really get it because the cameraman rightfully so went to the big tight end. But look what happens to Millen after he throws the football. Does he get popped or not from the blind side? Let us tell you that later on on Turner Network Television, we'll have highlights from the Florida versus Miami game along with highlights from the UTEP SMU game. So stay with us. I can... That is Pat Jones along the sideline. I can remember some years ago when you didn't see the highlights of football games until Wednesday of the week following on the newsreel at your local theater. They don't waste any time now, do they, Lynn? Just right stick, away. Stick around and here they come. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Toy. That defense. At the 38 yard line, lost to him. I tell you, Thompson has been sensational today, Lindsay. The big senior, 6'4, 275 pounds. He's going to go high in the draft. He's very quick, very quick. And with Leslie O'Neill on the other side, that really complements that great Cowboy defense. 
Second and 12 now at the 38-yard line. Hill and Franklin are the wide receivers. Hugh Millen still the quarterback. Myron Toy in the eye formation. Complete out there at the 45 to the 50 and on down to the 45-yard line. Taken by Franklin, Darrell Franklin. Stopped by Yancey. First and 10. A 17-yard pickup, Lindsey, and watch the blitz here and watch how beautifully he gets rid of the football. Millen raises right up. You see it man-to-man -man out there. He caught him in a blitz. That's Wendell Yancey, number 48, and he's strung out out there all by himself covering Daryl Franklin, and he didn't do too good a job of it. And a game that is tied at 17 in the third quarter. The Washington Huskies are moving the ball first and 10 at the 45-yard line of Oklahoma State. That's Trumbull in motion coming all the way across. Give it to Meyer. Meyer moves to the 39-yard line. Let's go now to the studio for highlights. A couple of checks came up with big wins at the U.S. Open Tennis Championship in New York. First on the women's side, Hanna Monlikova upset the top seed Martina Navratilova. The numbers were 7-6, 1-6, and 7-6. Meanwhile, on the men's side, semifinal action, the fourth seed, Jimmy Connors, who suffered an ankle injury in the warm-ups, fell to second seed Yvonne Lindell in straight sets. Tomorrow, he meets McEnroe. Here comes a replay off the right side. That's David Toy. They needed about six, and he got seven tough yards and the first down. First and ten now at the 31-yard line for the Huskies. Eight minutes, 26 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Score tied, and Washington is driving. Trimble is wide. Bo Hill is wide. Double to the left side. They move Trimble on out toward the sideline in motion. Taken there by the tailback, and that is David Toy. David Toy gets across the 25-yard line. Picked up six yards on the play, second and four. Get a six yards. Mike Hudson with a tackle. Matt Jones, head coach at Oklahoma State there. Second down, four yards to go. On the Cowboy, 25. Two tight ends, Jones and Perea. Toy, just to the 25-yard line. On the scrimmage, that's okay. all, it's third and four. Warren Ricky Thompson Adams down on the tackle with Ricky Adams. David Toy been the workout course in this sequence. Second quarter the offense. Southern Methodist Millen 12 out of 20 now. 158 yards, two touchdowns. Maria has come out of the ball game, and Mo Hill is coming to replace him. Hill is wide to the left side. On a third down and four yards to go at the Oklahoma State 25. Millen. a flag a flag there he had the football for a minute interference in the end zone oh, a good move it was Daryl Franklin who made the move in the corner of the end zone Lindsay and we're going to take a, another look at it but what a great pitch by Hugh Millen under this year's rule now interference in the end zone doesn't go to the one it's from the previous spot look at this pitch good camera shot here watch me he's in the end zone you see number 48 again Window Yancey, they're trying to take advantage of him over there, it looks like. He had a hold of the football. Yancey had his back to the whole play. Interference, 15 yards first down. From the previous spot, puts it at the 10-yard line. In other years, it would have been at the one-yard line. against the defense. Automatic first down. So it is first down and goal to go since the ball is touching the 10-yard line. First and goal on the Cowboy 10. Myron Toy in the eye for Millen. Right. The Oklahoma State defense throws him for a four-yard loss back at the 14. Hudson made the tackle. Now, Lindsay, Mike Hudson, who's made some key plays here for the Cowboys, he's listed as a strong safety. You know where he made that tackle? Into the backfield for a loss. 
The strong safety moved up like a monster back. He becomes a linebacker when he gets close to that goal line. He made a good reaction across the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal to go. Washington's ball at the Oklahoma State 14. Meyer and Troy in the eye formation. Mike Hudson had a hand in there. Rod Jones was the intended receiver, number 84. That would have been a touchdown, Lindsay, if Mike Hudson hadn't got his hand up. A little uh, counteraction against off the play action fake. Now watch number 10. Rod Jones was just about ready to make that catch. Mike Hudson deflected it. Third down and goal to go at the 14. Score tied at 17. David trembles into the ball game now. Oh, Hills on the wide right. Right in across to a left set. Taken by Toy, and he got it most a yard for the third team, which will make it fourth down. Leslie O'Neill made the stop. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If they think they were going to catch Oklahoma State defensive front three up there napping, they were wrong. Jeff oh, Jager's got to try the field goal now. They wanted to keep it right in the middle hoping that they could break the crack there, Lindsay, and move it all the way in for six, but that, that kind of play is not going to work against this defense. Jago try a 30-yarder. It's got to be Chris Chandler holding for Jago's attempt. It's up, and the 30-yard field goal is no good. It's no good. You're kidding. It's no good. It's wide, and so the score remains. Washington 17. Oklahoma State 17 with 527 to play on the third quarter. We'll be back in a moment. This is Turner Network Television. Here are scores in the fourth quarter. Florida 28, Miami 21. North Carolina 14, Navy 7 in the third. BYU 17, UCLA 16 in the fourth. Oklahoma State first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Williams is the quarterback. As a whistle, somebody beat the snap, I think, on the far side. Right tackle, Oklahoma State. Number 72, Paul Blair move. There he is. They've got the four biggest offensive tackles I've ever seen in one football game, Lindsay. <laughs> All four tackles. We get the call. The two offensive tackles for Oklahoma go 275. And the two offensive tackles for Washington are over 275. They're huge. Baylor 15, Wyoming 3 in the third quarter. Out to the 18-yard line, it was Thomas Garrett. Got three yards on the play. Hadley made the tackle. Gain of three yards. Thomas having a much tougher time here in the second half, picking up yardage. He just ate that defense alive in the first half, but not in the second. Second and 12, up there at the 19-yard line. Williams rolling. Completing it across the 20-yard line. Out of bounds at the 23, Bobby Riley. Incomplete. Good incomplete, and Williams is hurt. Ronnie Williams is hurt. On the rollout here, Ronnie Williams gets hurt. Bobby Riley was wide open on the right side. You see him hook up. Now he's going to veer to the outside, and he just couldn't hold on to the football. He's got it. Now he does it. It's incomplete. But back in the backfield, Ronnie Williams is down. Members of the training staff out there to see about Williams. At quarterback, his backup man is Rusty Rankin, who is a sophomore from Benito, Oklahoma. There are Williams' stats for the day. Six of 15, 86 yards, one interception, no touchdowns. Well, he's young. He's got a lot of talent. He's got the big, good, strong arm. And Pat's Pat very, very high on him. The head coach thinks he's going to be a good quarterback. That's a mouthpiece they're chasing down and they're bouncing around. It's all right. It's going to be third down and 12 yards to go at the 19 as Williams is coming off. And Rusty Rankin is coming on to replace it.
Rusty Rankin supposed to, supposedly a very good option quarterback. He's a sophomore. Nito, Oklahoma, 193 pounds. Good size, Lindsey. He can run. Thomas and Timmons in the eye formation. Look at the linebackers. They're up there on a blitz. Nope. Thomas. Thomas. Thomas to the 22-yard line. Right down by Hall. Got only three yards out of all that. It'll be fourth down. Well, Rusty comes in for running, hands off on the draw, and it's just good. Look, running. Look at that balance by Thurman Thomas. He goes off to the right. He's going to be short. We're going to have to punt it. Rich Thompson is in to do the punting, and Ryan Miles is back deep. Standing at his own 40 yard line. Thompson gets it off. Miles retreats. 32, 31 yard line. He gets to the 36. And now for highlights, let's go back to the studio. Thank you, Lindsay. This is the ball game we were talking about a little while ago. Texas El Paso trailing SMU just before the half. But look at the screen pass to John Harvey. This game is tied at 14 all. SMU is a 42 point favorite. We'll keep you updated. Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning here at the University of Washington. The Huskies have the ball first and 10 at their own 36 yard line. Three minutes, 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter of the game. The score is tied at 17. That's Toy carrying, and he got it across the 40 and on out to the 43 yard line, maybe the 44. Good blocking that time at the point of attack for David Toy off the left side. Nancy made the tackle. And about seven on the play, make it second and three. Three and a half minutes left to play in the quarter. We understand Lindsay and Ronnie Williams may have a possible broken jaw. That's Toy carrying. And he got it out to the 47 yard line. Roberts made the tackle. He's got the ice bag right on the left side of the jaw. got popped when he tried to complete that pass to his receiver Bobby Raleigh. First and ten for Washington. They have the ball at their own 47 yard line. Toy now getting attention uh, from the training staff and Millen meanwhile has gone over for a conference with the coaching staff along the sideline during this timeout. I'll tell you Don James has got to be wondering what's happened to my running back Rick Finney who was highly regarded in this Husky offense. But David Toy gets up. Looks like he's all right as he goes off. Vince Weathersby has come in now. Vince Weathersby from Los Angeles. Went to Dorsey High there. Has come into the ballgame. So it's Meyer and Weathersby, the running backs in the game now for Washington. First and 10, they have the ball on their own 47-yard line. Weathersby. I beg your pardon, it's Meyer. It's Meyer, the up back. The up back, Meyer to the 49 yard line. Got two. Second and eight. Chief Ham on the stop. Ham made the tackle. Two minutes, 35 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Score tied at 17. Down, eight yards to go. Seven tackles today for Leslie O'Neill. He's now 10th in OSU career tackle. Millen short dropping a pop. Completed out there across the 45 yard line. Franklin made the catch, number seven. I tell you, Daryl Franklin's having a good day way over on the left side. Franklin beats him on a square out. And who's he beat? Wendell Yancey over there, Lindsay. They're really working on Mr. Yancey over there. And of course, you got to take pity on a guy like that. He's always back there man to man. And as you. Well, no, it's very tough to cover these speedy receivers, man to man. They'll just eat your life. They had to measure as the ball was along the sideline over there, and it is a first down. So they spotted at the inbounds marker. Now, first down to 10 yards to go at the 43. Ben Jones getting a little mileage along the sideline. Well, there's me and Meyer in that split backfield now. 
boy, Mo Hill be wide open down there again. Well, I'm throwing, and it's, it's complete. Across the 30 and down to the 27-yard line. The weather's been... They are just eating alive the Oklahoma Cowboy defensive right side over there. A 15-yard pickup. And Hugh Miller doesn't waste any time going back over to the weak spot, does he? This time he completes it to Weathersby. They got two men out there. That's Mo Hill trying to get a block. First and 10 now for the Huskies. And they have the ball at the 27-yard line of Oklahoma State. Weathersby to the 26-yard line. So it'll be second down and a yard to go. I beg your pardon, it was Toy. He was back in there. Toy had come back in and he carried it, and that is uh, somebody down there now. In need of a little help. That's that is Dennis Soldat. Dennis Soldat, the big offensive left tackle. I'll be second about eight, Lindsay. I tell you. Hugh Millen, the experience that he's got in there at quarterback, he knows over on the left side and they're playing awful soft over there and they've been completing a lot of passes, especially here in the second half against Window Yancey. They've really gone after him man to man and they're beating him alive here in the third quarter. So that's going off at least for the moment. <laughs> and we see he's going to replace him. Brett we see. One minute, 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Washington 17, Oklahoma State 17. It's on the 26 yard line. Second down and nine yards to go. Toy and Meyer are the backs in there. There's a whistle. Penalty is being marked off by Jim Springer, the referee. Dead ball, illegal procedure on the offense. Dead ball foul, Still second illegal down. procedure against the Huskies. Second and 14. Five yards, moving uh, over the top by 31. They have continued as we second see some rain falling now. Get a little rain here in Seattle, which is normal, I guess, almost every day here usually, right? Don Heinrich, 49, 50 to 52. Former All-American quarterback, over 4,000 yards throwing the football, Lindsey. He was with the New York Giants for quite a few years. Then was a coach for a while. Yes, sir, does a lot of radio and TV around San Francisco. Second and 14 at the 31-yard line for the University of Washington. See if they go back over there against Wendell Yancey. Millen. Incomplete to Toy. Washington, John Washington was a man getting to the pass just as he let him go. We watched this Jeff Jeff Jager, their kicker for Washington, warm up. He's got a big, strong arm. In fact, he's one of the most accurate field goal kickers in college football. He missed that 30 yarder before, which is very unusual, because he was 42 out of 54 field goal attempts. Third and 14 at the 31 for Washington. Tremble in motion across. Millen throws a screen left. Toy has it. Goes out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. Passing to David Toy. Adams made the tackle. No game. Fourth down coming up. Line of scrimmage is the. 31 near the 32. So Jager's coming out. Attempt to field goal. The score is tied. 25 seconds remain in the third quarter. That's Don James, the Washington coach. This is going to be a 49 yarder. A 49 yarder with Chandler holding. Jager boots. And this one is no good. No good. Second consecutive field goal attempt missed by Jager. It'll be put in play at the 20 yard line with 10 seconds remaining. In the third quarter, as you see, Don James again. Lindsey had plenty of leg. We understand uh, making a, somewhat of an excuse for this young man. Very accurate kicker. 42 out of 54 in his first two years here at Washington. Now he's missed two in a row. They say he's got a slightly pulled groin, and you can see his reaction there. Not too good. He pushed it to the right. Oklahoma State with the football first and 10 at their own 31-yard line.
Taken by Thomas. Taken by Thomas with Rankin quarterbacking. Got it out there to the 34-yard line. It'll be second down and seven. And time has run out on the clock. Time has run out in this period on the clock. So that's the end of the third quarter. And the score is tied. Washington 17, Oklahoma State 17. We'll be back in just a moment. The rain is falling steadily here now. We have a quarter to go. Third, second and seven at the 34-yard line. Thomas with the ball. Out to the 40. Thomas 45, 50, 45. Thomas out of bounds. What a great run. Loaded into Washington territory. Lindsay, he's still down over there. It looked like he was banged up early in the second quarter. He's still down. What a great play he makes here. He turns a three-yard loss. Look, here's the draw right here. He, he beats the people to the outside. He got a good stiff arm there. Beats the linebacker. Then he beats Daryl Hall, the safety man. He runs over the cornerback. 182 yards now, and he's really pushed out of bounds. He's got 23 yards on that one. And members of the training staff go out to see about him right away. He's a great back, and he's holding that right arm. Pat Jones says, please, Mr. Thomas, please. Mitch Nash has come in to replace him now. Mitch Nash, it's first and 10 for the Cowboys at the Washington 43-yard line. Pitch to the tailback. And the Washington defense comes in to smother him. It's Mitch Nash who's back at the 50-yard line. Loss of about seven. Here comes Thomas. Here comes Thomas back. And they need him. He takes a little pitch on the right side. And he's going to lose about four yards. Thurman Thomas Second checks back in. Washington 48. Second and 15 as it is spotted now. I think the whole key is going to be this quarterback, Lindsey. Rusty Rankin. He's got to perform now. Well, he's got the ball. He completes it up the sideline. Going to be marked at the 37-yard line. Hart Lee Dykes was the man who made the reception. Rankin completing the pass. That's a young man that they're going to have to pin their hopes on. We've got a tie. Ronnie Williams is out with probably a broken jaw. And Rusty Rankin now, a lot of pressure on this sophomore. He's got to operate this offense. Thurman Thomas, of course, has got a dangerous threat back there. That'll help him a lot. Third and three at the 36. Third and three for the Cowboys at the Washington 36. Thomas and Timmons with the setback. Thomas, Thomas, first and ten. Thomas goes to the 29-yard line. Ball in to make the tackle. I tell you, that's just great blocking at the point of attack, Lindsay. When number 34, Thurman Thomas, got to the right tackle, there was nobody there. Look at this blocking. Paul Blair, a sensational block. He cremates everybody to the inside, and then Daryl Hall is left back there man to man. It's spotted at the 28-yard line. And I should tell it's 59,205 at Husky Stadium here on the campus of the University of Washington in Seattle. Rankin, gonna run it. Runs into a lot of traffic up there at the 25-yard line. Rusty Rankin beating the ball. <laughs> Bo Yates has got the football, but the, it was blown dead. Pretty smart play by Rusty Rankin. He thought everybody was covered, and he went, didn't want to put it up for grabs, so he just took it right into the middle, picked up a couple yards. The man still down, and members of the training staff are coming out to see about him. It is Reggie Rogers. Reggie Rogers. It takes a lot of getting up for him. Number 64, Andy Poymaono. Now in replacing Reggie Rogers. Rogers goes off. Tuama Ono comes in, Tuama Ono, to replace Rogers. Second down and eight yards to Second go at the 26. Yards to go on the Husky 26. Score is tied at 17. We're in the fourth quarter. Thomas got about two, maybe one to the 24. It'll be third down and seven yards to go. Real made the tackle. And it was a good tackle by Real from the backside, Lindsey. 
I think Thomas would have gotten a little a lot more yardage out of that. Third down, big third down now. It's a passing situation. But third and six from here is not necessarily a passing situation when you've got a guy named Thomas. Rusty Rankin is the quarterback. Thomas has got the football. 20, 15, 10, 9. The nine-yard line. First down and goal to go, and Thomas gets the ball. He's over 200 yards rushing on the That's night. The I tell you, he's something to watch. Out of the eye, here he comes off the right. Look at that block by the up back. Timmons makes a sensational block, and Thomas just puts his look at north-south running. He's inside the 10. Thurman Thomas having a great night. 5'11", 186 pounder, sophomore from Missouri City, Texas. 206 yards rushing. And again, down to the five yard line. So it's gonna be second down and goal to go. Dominguez made the tackle. You think this kid isn't in shape, Lindsay? That's the 32nd time he's carried the football tonight. Around the right side and Timmons who's doing a sensational job up front blocking for him, and those are tough yards. Another Washington man is down, and he's getting attention from the training camp. It's Kelly. Kelly there, number 36. Joe Kelly from Los Angeles Jefferson. Great linebacker. He's a four-year starter here. We have had injuries galore in this football game here tonight. All right, Florida 35, Miami 23 in the fourth quarter. UCLA 19, BYU 17 in the fourth quarter. Big upset. Kelly is still getting attention on the field. Look again. Let's take another look at Kelly. Here comes Thomas off the right side. Here comes Kelly right in trying to help out. He always does. He's being stopped up front. And Kelly in on the tackle, and he gets twisted around, as you see him. He fell on his back there, twisted something. Ball was taken to the inbound mark and spotted at the seven, so when players resume, it'll be second and goal at the seven-yard line as Kelly is assisted to his feet. Next TV game on Super Football Saturday, Baylor and Georgia, 12 noon Eastern time, 11 a.m. Central next Saturday. And then our primetime game, Pittsburgh against Ohio State in Columbus, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. We hope you'll join us for Super Football Saturday night. Well, we're looking forward to seeing Keith Bars. He's got that broken foot. We don't think he'll be ready, but Ohio State, always one of the perennial bars in college football. What a great matchup. Pittsburgh and the Buckeyes. Kelly goes out of the ball game, and Erlinson comes in to replace him at linebacker now. The score is tied. 11 minutes, 51 seconds left to play in the game. Oklahoma State driving. The Cowboys got 206 yards rushing. All by Thurman Thomas. Rankin is the quarterback. Thomas is the tailback here at the seven. Thomas. Thomas to the six-yard line. Third down and goal at the six. No game. That's Kelly along the sideline getting it right now. Oh, yeah, made the last tackle. This Husky defense will make you pay for it. Close to that goal line. There's the stats of Thomas Thomas. 209 yards. Score is tied at 17. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turn on Network Television. Just moments ago in the Orange Bowl, Florida with a ball trailing Miami. But a touchdown from Kerwin Bell to Ricky Natiel. The Gators poured out in the fourth quarter. They win 35 to 23. More highlights later. Back to Paul and Lindsay. Don James looks on. This crowd is alive. Third and goal at the six-yard line. Score tied at 17. Oklahoma State with the football. Thomas is the tailback. Rankin the quarterback. Thomas with the ball. Thomas. And the defense of Washington pushes him out. It's a touchdown to Bobby point. Raleigh, Lindsey. He, he threw did. the option pass. He did. He got rid of it for the touchdown. That's the third touchdown pass for this young man. He threw two touchdowns last year off the option. The whole offensive team came over and talked to, uh, talked to Pat Jones. And watch this. Here's the pitch. He makes it look like a run. There's number one. He slips free in the end zone. He pulls it up at a little 
just a basketball. Let me get it in there anyhow, and it's a good catch, and it's six-point touchdown pass for Thurman Thomas. Conversion attempt coming now by O'Donnell. It is up, and it's good. And so now Oklahoma State has taken a seven-point lead. They lead in this ball game by seven. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Bobby Riley, number one. He catches the option pass from Thurman Thomas. Last year, Thomas threw two option passes. He completed them both for touchdowns. And you see Riley on an ISO. He just gets into the end zone. Thurman Thomas just floats the ball in there for six points. There's Pat Jones on the sideline. And you can see, he says, I knew it'd work. Well, yeah. Donald's going to pick it off now for Oklahoma State. And Trimble is back there with Franklin. It's taken at the 11-yard line. Return to the 15. Out to the 20, and Trimble gets it to the 25-yard line. They'll start first and 10 there. Tackle was made by Robinson. We have a report that Kelly has a sprained ankle. The report on Kelly is a sprained ankle. Kelly's got a bad sprain, and of course, the Rick Fenney, they lost their big fullback with a badly sprained ankle. Penalty marker. And a personal foul has been uh, called against the Cowboys. So that's going to move them all, move the ball upfield for Washington and give them a first down at the 41 yard line. Those three penalties that the coaches hate, and it gives Dead ball, personal foul, spearing against the defense. First down. Don James, arms folded. Toy and Meyer are the setbacks for quarterback Millen. Got good field position too, Lindsay, with that spearing penalty. Toy gets it out to the 44-yard line. And Ricky Adams made the tackle. The He's clock is running. That's time remaining in the football game. Ricky Keep Adam in mind, Hugh Millen has never lost as a starter for the University of Washington. If they should have to score a touchdown, Lindsay, Don James has got the opportunity, of course, to go for that two points. Second and eight at the 44-yard line. Allen, Millen number 12. Let's see if he goes upstairs against Window Yancey over here on the left side. Incomplete up at about the 47 yard line. Adams got a hand on it to Madden. Almost got the interception, too. Ricky Adams, what a game. He's been on the inside. You see, he's one of the inside linebackers here. He's king on the tight end. He does a little hook pass and watch the reaction. Ricky Adams almost comes up with the interception. Third down and eight yards to go. Washington with the ball at their own 44 yard line. The Cowboys are leading 24 to 17. We're in the fourth quarter. up there trying to get it to Lontel Hill he was collared Lindsay back there somebody had a piece of his jersey from the back side Thompson forced, I think force Millen upstairs and to throw it incomplete punting it it comes on now Thane Cleland's in to do the punting oh that Thompson's been all over the field it seems like every time we look up Lindsay you're mentioning Thompson Bobby Riley Bobby Riley is back there deep Leland gets it off. Beauty. Into the end. So it'll be brought out and put in play first and 10 at the 20 on the touchback. As a seven point lead is on the board for the Cowboys. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. In the making, the upset of the decade. Texas El Paso to the ball. The old Statue of Liberty, Eric Anderson from Sammy Garza. He goes all the way down inside SMU territory, sets up the go-ahead field goal. Yes, that's right. UTEP is leading SMU. Back to Paul and Lindsay. A little wildlife on the wing. Canadian geese, we're told. First and 10 at the 20 now for Oklahoma State. Guess Thomas who? has the football. Thomas to the outside. Five yards he's picked up. Almost 10. Maybe he did get 10. He went out of bounds as Paul and Miles ran him out over there. Lindsay, move over, Bo Jackson. Move over, Keith Byers, Kenny Davis, all of you take notice, this young sophomore, he wants into the hunt. I'll tell you, Thurman Thomas, sensational 
opener for Oklahoma State. 219 yards, 34 carries. Second down and one yard to go. Ball is just in advance of the 29-yard line. The clock is running with nine minutes, 50 seconds left to play in the game. Oklahoma State 24 and the Huskies 17. So total yards there. Whistle before the snap. Could be delayed. I'm watching Thomas. He's limping. He's going back into the backfield. He's not coming out. He's banged up a little bit. I think he's hurt. He's right on the right side. He looks like he's limping. Check out this penalty. He's got to come out. Yep, but he's running. He's okay, but he's not 100%. Mitch Nash is going to replace him. Dead ball foul. Dead ball foul. Disconcerting signals. Five yards. Disconcerting signals. That is uh, signals by the defense to try to confuse the offense. Absolutely. It's calling him a win. The quarterback's calling his signals, and uh, it's disrupting and uh, it's not courteous. And it cost you 15 yards. Rusty Rank has done a pretty good job coming in, Lindsay, from Ronnie Williams. No mistakes, and he's handling this offense well. Five yards, I beg your pardon. Well, it's taken there by Timmons, and he stumbled up to the 42-yard line. And we get an update on the score. You won't believe this. University of Texas El Paso, UTEP, is leading SMU third quarter, 17 to 14. Right here, the Cowboys are leading the Huskies, 24 to 17. Ball at the 42-yard line, second and three. Thomas has got the ball. This time he just gets back to the line of scrimmage. There's a flag down, Lindsay. They know it's coming. Defensively, it's a lot of pressure right now. The Huskies got to get that football back. Check out the penalty holding against Oklahoma State. There was no gain on the play, so they have an option here. Well, they should take it. They want to force this young quarterback to throw the football is what they can. 34 is back in, Thurman Thomas. Ball is spotted at the 32-yard line on the 10-yard penalty. Not necessarily a passing down now, Lindsay, even though it's... Holding 10 yards against the offense. Still second down. Still second down. They need about 12. They need to run that clock, and the clock's running, and they love it. Second down, 13 yards to go into 32. Thomas and Timmons are the backs, the running backs. Thomas. Thomas. Got to the 34-yard line, closer to the 35. Tim Peoples made the tackle. It's going to be third and about 10. And yeah, still not necessarily a passing down, but they've got pretty good field position here as Thomas comes back. Boy, what a workhorse. Clock just keeps right on running. The seven-point lead. Do you risk it putting it up into the air? This kid hasn't thrown a pass yet, has he? Sophomore Rankin is the quarterback. Splits the running backs. I think they're going to throw. Rankin with the ball. Completes it. Short. Up to the 40. Not enough for the first down. It'll bring up a fourth down. Fourth and about five. Put it to Dillard his Dillard was the man who made the catch. Put it to his big tight end, Lindsey. And I don't think that's too good a play call here. They needed 10. If you're going to throw the football, let's go downfield and try to pick up the first down. He got it to his tight end. You see he's double covered over there. Bo Yates in on the stuff. Rich Thompson in to do the punting now. Miles is back deep for Washington. Huskies want the football. They trail by seven in the fourth quarter. Can Miles do it again? Another good return. Thompson gets it off. Miles at the 23. This nope. time he is smothered. Going to be spotted at the 22-yard line, 37-yard kick, a minus one return. At Jones, head coach at Oklahoma State. His team is leading here in the fourth quarter with seven minutes, seven seconds to play. There it is, the clock. Ball is at the 22-yard line. Washington has it. And Millen's got to throw the football. He's got to really move it upstairs, Lindsey. He's got his receivers, Mo Hill, Trimble. He's going to throw the football now. Toy and Meyer in the I formation. Millen waits for the snap. 
Short drop. Pops it complete. Out to the 28-yard line. Against who? Window Yancey over there. Laid by Franklin. But of course, he's giving him that, Lindsay. It's a little hitch pattern over there. Linebacker almost got his hand on the ball. A man playing up short. They got six at second and four. The clock keeps running. Oklahoma State 24, Washington 17. Pass out into the flat. Taken by Toy. Toy has got the first and 10 at the 36 yard line, maybe the 37. A little slow developing screen on the right side. He picked up some blocks. Uh, that almost was a lateral here. Uh, would have been a live football. You can see. Millen, there goes the lineman. You see him running out to the right. There's your screen out to the right side. Now watch Toy cut back. One linebacker falls down. He's got the first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. On James from the sideline. Millen with the ball. On the right flat complete. Across the 35 and up to the 40. David Toy. Toy picked up. Three. Speed to the 40-yard line, make it second and seven. Now well, they're just hoping that Toy is going to use that great speed and break it, break it back against the green and come up with the big play. Now let's go back to the studio for an update. BYU has won 25 games in a row, but that winning streak on the line. Ravi Bosco fights for the end zone, the second effort. He barely gets in. At that point, BYU is on top, but UCLA has come back to score. Back to Paul and Lindsay. Second down and seven yards to go at the 40. Mellon rolling. There it is, intercepted with the 50, with the 40, to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Touchdown, Touchdown. Oklahoma State Moore, Mark Moore, Mark Moore from Nacogdoches, Texas, intercepted, running back 50 yards for a touchdown. Well, the defense back there knew they were going to throw the football. Mark Moore, who's made some sensational plays back there from his weak safety position. He was just playing center field back there, Lindsey, and he read the quarterback beautifully. It was a little rollout to his side, and what an interception. Just breaks the game wide open. Pat Jones on the sidelines, pretty happy. O'Donnell, O'Donnell is attempting the conversion. O'Donnell is kicking and is good. And that makes it Oklahoma State 31, Washington 17. Five minutes, 14 seconds remaining to be played in the game. And we'll be back in just a moment. Well, Millen, seven points down, a little roll out left. And watch Mark Moore, the junior from Nacogdoches, Texas. Watch this interception. And you think this young man doesn't know how to get into the end zone. He returned two last year for touchdowns, five intercepts. Watch this move at the five. Whoop. Nice hurdle move, and he gets into the end zone, 49 yards. Here's another look. He's trying to drill it in there, and Mark Moore read it perfectly. Makes the easy interception. 49 yards. He makes a good hurdle about the five yard line and goes in for his third touchdown run back this career. So now the kickoff will be by O'Donnell and it's going to be Tim Peebles and David Trumbull deep. Taken at the 16 yard line and return to cross the 25 and up to the 29 yard line by Trumbull. All of the points scored by Oklahoma State this half have come on defense. Absolutely and that's been the difference. That punt. That roll dead at the one yard line, and then Ricky Adams' fantastic tackle. They fumbled the football into the end zone. Toy coughed it up. Oklahoma State recovered for that touchdown, and then this interception. That's the difference. First down and 10 yards to go. Ball is at the 29 yard line. Millen with the ball. 50-yard line, all the way up to the 50-yard line. Oh. David Trumbull, David Trumbull. Good juggling catch by David Trumbull. Kept his concentration on the football. Good pitch by Millen. He's going to throw it almost every time now. Watch his beautiful concentration. Up, up. He's got it. First down up the midfield. Four minutes, 57 seconds left on that clock. Ball is marked ready for play now by the referee, Jim Springer. 
Hugh Millen, the quarterback. Again, Millen hit his target up at the 41, 42 yard line. It is Mo Hill, and the tackle was made by Ricky Adams. Well, he had to come back for the football. He didn't get the first down, so the clock will continue to run. Just a little shy of first down yard. There is the clock running. Time remaining in the game. Second down and a yard to go. Speed on the right side, Hill and Franklin. Millen. Incomplete. It was intended for Franklin. He got hammered again, this time again, by John Washington, who's had another outstanding game. Watch Millen hangs right in that pocket. A lot of boy, he just hangs right in there, Lindsay. And look at number 80, John Washington from the blind side. Put him right down. Third down and a yard to go. At the Cowboy 40. Hugh Millen brings up the Washington Huskies. Give it to his tailback to get the yard for the first down. That's David Toy. Toy got the first. That stops the clock till they move the chain. They gotta have a play call. It's gotta be an automatic real quick because they wanna run against that clock as best they can here. Now it's running. First and ten at the 37 yard line. Hugh Millen. Completed. Down at the 23 yard line. Taken there by Franklin. Franklin at the 23. Against our old friend over there, Wendell Yancey. I don't mean to belabor a point over here, but he, Mr. Yancey's playing awful soft over there, protecting a 14 point lead. And you see Hugh Millen, Hugh Millen coming back and he hits Daryl Franklin over there. 13 yards in the first down. Tell you, he's done a good job, Lindsay. Every time he's thrown the football, he's been on his back almost the whole night. Millen. First down and 10 yards to go at the 23. Millen again. Ridden right into the flat, and it's advanced up there to about the 17 yard line, taken by Weesey. We see is a man who gathered it in when it was batted up there. His arm was going forward. He was hit from behind. Legal receiver. He's so, an offensive tackle. That's a no-no. So the penalty is going to be against Washington. Lindsey Hugh Miller is 20 out of 34 tonight for 234 yards. And I'll guarantee you, 10 out of those 30 passes, he's been flat on his back after he's released the football. Clock says three minutes, 29 seconds left in the game. Illegal touching against the offense. Five yards, loss of down, second down. Here it is again. You watch when he comes forward with the football, he gets hit. He's hanging in there trying to find somebody open. That's Leslie O'Neill. Weesey comes up with the completed pass. That's just a normal reaction. Second and 15 at the 28. And it's taken down there by David Toy. He slipped down. And it'll be uh, spotted at the 30-yard line. Make it third down. And 16 yards to go. Clock is running, 2.50 left to play. Oklahoma State leading 31 to 17. Willem got it down at the goal line. And it was Williams who batted it down. That'll bring up a fourth down. Hill was the intended receiver. Knees Williams on the outside. He's just standing back there waiting. Those de defensive secondary men, Lindsay, are just way back. They know he's going to have to go into the end zone or close to it. Fourth down coming up here. 16 yards to go. Secondary men love to play pass defense right here. 
interception ratio is high. It is battered and it intercepted is. at the five on the young batting to the 30. Penalty marker strong. Guess who? It's Mark Moore again. <laughs> it is. It is Mark Moore. He finally goes out of bounds across the 50-yard line down at the 47-yard line of Washington. Well, I was saying, when you're playing pass defense, when you're two touchdowns ahead, you know they're going to throw it, and they got to throw it deep, and the interception ratio is very high in this situation, and Mark Moore comes up with his second interception. There was a penalty marker thrown on the return. Probably clipping. It is, again, a little deflection. Good reaction to the football for Mr. Moore. Second one tonight. He's going to put the ball back about the 10 yard line. Clipping during the run back, half the distance to the goal line. First down, 10. Oklahoma State with the ball, first and 10 at their 10. They're leading by a score of 31 to 17. Two minutes, 19 seconds left to play in the game. Rankin still quarterbacking Oklahoma State. Don James not too happy over there on the sidelines. Thomas and Timmons are in the eye. Thomas, Thomas gets out of bounds up there about the 20-yard line. Darrell Hall ran him out. I think he wants to get out of bounds, Lindsay, so he can run the football more. He knows if he stays in bounds, he's going to run out the clock. And he said, I need some more carries. How many carries he's got? Two, 36 carries, 232 yards on official. Wow. There are the turnovers, Washington 4, Oklahoma State 2. They're over there checking for the possible first down on that last carry by Thomas. Haven't decided yet whether it is or whether it isn't. I tell you, he's got these yards against a tough Washington Husky defense that always ranks near the top defensively. Don James defenses do not get torn up by a running back like this. It is not a first down. They're using the chain to spot the ball at the inbounds marker, and it'll be second down and less than a yard to go. Don James. Two minutes, 15 seconds left to play. 31 to 17. Rankin just took the ball. And I tell you, Rusty Rankin has done an exceptional job tonight. Look at this stat, rushing yards. 229 yards rushing, Washington 91 yards. First and 10. That was timeout is taken now. We have 2.12 left to play. Oklahoma State leading 31 to 17. We'll be back in just a moment. Oklahoma State has the ball first and 10 at their own 21-yard line now. Rankin is still the quarterback. He gives it to Thomas, and he gets it up there to the 24-yard line. Our thanks to statistician Ovin Lindblad and spotter Bill Friel and Oklahoma State SID Pat Quinn and his staff, to Washington SID uh, Chuck Nemai and his staff, to Director of Athletics Myron Roderick, Coach Pat Jones and their staffs, of Oklahoma State and the Director of Athletics Mike Lude, Coach Don James and Estes of Washington. The executive producer for TBS Sports is Don Ellis. Tonight's game has been produced by Michael Lardner, directed by Tom Smith, technical director Mark Johnson, associate producer George Smith, and associate director Gary Lehman. And our thanks to all the other people who have made this telecast possible here. Don't forget Ann Keith. She gets me here. I don't know how. But she takes care of all my transportation. I got I got to say thanks to her. She gets me here on time. Did you stay in this country all week? Yes. You? No, I took a ride up to Vancouver. I Boy, is it pretty up there. It's thought, about a three-hour drive from here. I thought, thought you might. I'll be meeting yes. you in Columbus, Ohio next yes, weekend. Sir. Pittsburgh and Ohio State. Thomas has 236 yards. The fifth best in OSU history. UCLA won. Beat Brigham Young. We don't know the score, but officially they just won. Thomas Garrett again. He's unreal. Thurman Thomas, folks. Gonna hear a lot about him the next three years. That is real getting up. I tell you, doesn't he, he just reminds you a little of the Walter Payton the way he runs the football. Tough kid. Loves to run north south. 159. 
left on the clock remaining to be played in this game with Oklahoma State leading the University of Washington 31 to 17 and Don James of course next opponent is Brigham Young at Brigham Young so there's two teams that will be coming off losses facing each other look at that 38 rushes 235 yards if you're wondering what their one game record is it's against Kansas State it's Ernest Anderson he had 270 yards for Oklahoma State What a game, and what a nice job Rusty Rankin's done filling in for Ronnie Williams when he broke his jaw. There's Terry Miller, one of the great running backs of Ohio State from 74 to 77, went on to be a great pro. Even Oklahoma State. That's right, Oklahoma State. 4,700 yards rushing. What did I say? They're down at six yards to go here. Again, it's uh, the same man carrying. Thurman Thomas. Got it up there to the 33-yard line. There are the whistles again. Peebles was in there on the stop. Tim Peebles on the stop. Sensational. The only thing you can say about this kid. Lindsay, only a sophomore. Had a sensational freshman year. Most recruited back out of Texas. Oklahoma State got him. And they've got a meal ticket for the next couple of years, I'll tell you that. First down and 10 yards to go. It's at the 33, and we have one minute, 33 seconds remaining to be played in this game. The Cowboys leading 31 to 17. Well, but only on your shoulder right now. There is the whistle. Final, UCLA 27, Brigham Young 24. Dead ball, delay of the game. Delay of game against the Cowboys. So that'll be first and 15 now as he goes back to the 28 yard line. One minute 27 seconds to play in the game. It will start the clock will start on the snap. Oh, Thomas and he was hit just as he got the ball. Boy oh boy. Fumano Fumano was the man who hit him. Boy Milano says don't rub it in our noses pal. He really gives him a pop gonna lose a few yards here out of the eye he's coming up and as soon as he gets the football he gets popped he's gonna lose about four second and 19 at the 24 yard line clock is running with I don't 55 know five seconds left you think they just want to give this kid a little yardage or uh, leaving him in run the they're gonna hit the deck time. here now yeah. just to the quarterback and he hits the deck to let the clock run and it's running took a loss have a couple of yards back to the 22 Third and on Don James, it's been a disappointing day for him and Knight. He'll get his wins this year. Don't worry about that, he right? He always does. He lost only one last year. That was the Southern Cal. Oklahoma State lost only two to Oklahoma and Nebraska. The quarterback will take it and hit the deck, and that'll be it. 22 second show. Quarterback takes it, and now they'll let it run out. That will have been. The last play of the football game when it gets down to zero. And as that runs down, Lindsay, just let me say that, of course, he got 200 yards rushing. No back has that good a day unless those people up front are doing the job. And what a great job the offensive line for Oklahoma State did block it. And the final score is Oklahoma State 31, Washington 17. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Turner Network Television. The last team to beat Brigham Young was Baylor in the 1983 season opener. Until tonight. Uh, they proved, UCLA proved, that they're going to be a team to watch this year. They had to go nick and tuck right down to the end. Watch what happens. Gaston Green gets the call. UCLA was trailing. He finds the end zone. A two-point conversion was good. The final 27-24. The nation's longest winning streak stopped at 25. It is now a 10-game winning streak for the Florida Gators. The touchdown pass from Kerwin Bell to Frankie Neal. Miami tried to come back. Vinny Testaverde across the middle. But watch what happens. Brett Perrymore is knocked hard and cold. He drops the ball. Curtis Stacy recovers. And the Gators go on to win 35-23. They've won 10 in a row. They are 9-0 under Galen All. He doesn't know how to lose. No, sir. He's, what, 10, 10 in a row now? 9-0 for him, 10 in a row for the Gators. Yes, sir. And also an exciting one, North Carolina Navy. This, too, went down to the final minute of play. Navy with the ball, a touchdown pass to Napoleon McCallum. 
21-19. They go for the two-point conversion and for the tie. You call it. Here it is. Burn with the ball to John Lobb. It is good. However, an official said there was an illegal receiver downfield. It was ruled no good. 21-19 the final. What an afternoon. It really was a long afternoon. We said we'd be here all night, and we have. Yeah, it's been great. Now let's go back, back to Paul and Lindsay. The final score, Oklahoma State 31, Washington 17. Next week, on Football Saturday, Baylor versus Georgia, 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central Time. And then we'll be in Columbus, Ohio, to bring you in prime time, Pittsburgh versus Ohio State at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time, Super Football Saturday night. Tonight's game has been brought to you by Buick and your Buick dealer. For comfort, innovation, and a real commitment to quality, it's today's Buicks. And by Bud Light, the light beer with the first name and taste. Everything else is just a light. Brought to you by CNN. From Crossfire to Larry King Live, from Sports Tonight to Showbiz Today, CNN brings you programs that make news more interesting than you'd expect. Pac-10 transportation provided by National Car Rentals. Supplemental lighting provided by Musco Sports Lighting of Oskaloosa, Iowa. And now, speaking for Paul Horning, this is Lindsey Nelson saying good night. <laughs>